Okay, so let's go break out another character, huh? Probably going to update the name of the stream then, aren't we? Which means I'm gonna have to get used to like talking like this in character, which is a bit, uh, you know. Uh, I can try and make it a little bit. Can I can try and make it a little bit gruffer than this, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. I fell into a burning ring of fire and ten, ten, ten. Hey, go, Ralic. I got the fucking thing back. <laughs> uh, right. Alright, let's go see if we can't make any stuff happen as Thomas. I don't even remember what the fuck we've got. Kind of looking, kind of close to there. Hmm. Just a moment. Thank you. Go to sleep. I I wanted I wanted oh, to you're say so bye. Eleanor, Eleanor, to Eleanor, Eleanor no. you did it to me. Now so it's your turn. You. What do you mean? Okay, I I've got like <laughs> you back. That's amazing. Your chalky milk. I gave it to you, so that's because you were working at saloon. You can actually sell it. Sure. <laughs> what we got here? Got whiskey. All right, here we go. Yeah, there, friend. What about to do? Sorry, what was that? I said, "Is no one running the bar today?" Hmm. Doesn't seem that way. Unfortunate. Hello. Uh, one bowl of uh, anything hot, please. Oh, I, I'm not the bartender. I was just coming back here to grab a few things. I see. You want me to grab you one? Ah, uh, that is fine. Thank you. I'll just Believe grab it up, Jim drink. is just across the street. He should be over here in a moment as well. He's quite the bartender. Hey, who is? Uh, Sir Lockjaw Jim. I believe he's just in the bank across the street. I see. I'm sure he'll be over in a moment, but feel free to help yourself, of course. Right. No point in grabbing some scran. Hmm. All right. Well then. All righty. What do you do around these parts, Sensor? I do not do anything in Van Horn. I just... in Van Horn. I have my mind elsewhere. In Valentine. I am from Van Horn. Huh, I see. I've not been out there to Van Horn yet. Truth be told, the whole time I've been in the crossing, I've either been in Saint Denis or here in Valentine. Kind of about it. See. Si. Uh, fair enough. No, I don't do anything here for now. I just traveled to see what was, uh, I suppose, what this place was like. Huh? Fair 
not. I was thinking maybe I might be a bartender or I don't know. I suppose work will find me. And yourself? Nah, I'm still uh still looking for something to do to be honest. I see. And what sort of things are you looking to do exactly? Hmm. Not so sure, really. I was a miner back home in Scotland, but I haven't picked up a I haven't picked up a pick in months. I see. It seems as if you may have uh, missed your opportunity a while ago. They was a contingency of miners who went past through town. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Quite so. At any rate, it was nice to make your acquaintance. I'll be going now. Yeah, no worries. Safe travels. And you. Ah, uh, God, it's so weird talking like this in RP, because I'm used to, <laughs> I'm used to sitting here doing the Astrid voice whenever I'm talking, but no, obviously a little bit different. Is there such a thing as a pick? Pick that. Oh, there's a pick that. Yeah, okay, fine. Perfect. There's a pick that. Probably handy to have. Uh, and... Got a knife, that's good. Um, what else do we need, really? Oh, shit, we don't have any. Oh, no, we have fingerprints. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for. Let's, well, let's get a coffee. And yeah, we're going to get some more cigarettes, aren't we? Hey, medic, how's it going? Go team naughty doctors? Yep, 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 yep. Welcome in. I was just messaging you, Jay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, welcome to, for the first time on stream. So, ir ironically, before Astrid went completely fucking rogue, this here is Thomas, and, and this, this was going to be my um this is gonna be my criminal character um but um yeah uh as it so fucking happens astrid decided to absolutely burn the crossing down <laughs> and uh yeah everybody fucking hates her it's amazing i love it so instead we're uh we're getting we're, we're gonna we're gonna break out we're, we're gonna break out thomas who is my main alt i do have another alt but um but yeah so um, yeah, this is this is Thomas Thomas Anderson. He is a Scottish miner who does uh, does shit. Uh, yeah. Right, so what do we want to do here? Right, so I want to have a look at my map. So I'm not really too sure. Oh, there's a good shop there. Okay. Oh, wait, I know there's a good shop there. That's fine. I might go with Strawberry and uh, Blackwater as a bit of an explorer. Because Tom. Oh, shit. Uh, Thomas, so Thomas has literally, as you just heard me say, he's only been to Saint Denis and Valentine. He's not been anywhere else. So, um, yeah, we need to go and, uh, 
to go and see what's what for Thomas. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hard it off. Let's get some shit going. So weird seeing my character in a hat. And it's so weird actually doing a character that's talking in this in this voice. <laughs> Here's my horse. All right, so yeah, uh, well, it's got a fucking strawberry in it. So we need money. We need better weapons than we've got right now. Um, so basically, we're just going to be on the grind. I think. I'm not sure how mining works. Probably going to have to figure that one out. Ah, oh, jeez. Right. So, let's uh, let's go. What even is my horse called? Willow. Ah, Willow's kind of nice. Wait, have I got? Why have I got? So, why have I got so much fucking sticks? Oh yeah, that's right. Because uh, yeah, Thomas doesn't have a lot of money, so he's mostly just um. Out of curiosity, like if we got a satchel crafting. Uh, no, that, this is it. This is on, on. So what can we make with sticks? No, we can't. We can make a campfire. That's pretty cool crap. Uh, yeah, get the sticks back in there. Cool, close. Right, um, let's, uh, let's, yeah. Let's go see what shit we can find. What the fuck is this? You quite alright there, sir? Oh. You, you got a splint or something of that sort that you know you could help me out with? Hmm. Do you know? Oh, Daft Medic, thank you hands. so much for the fall. I'm sorry, sir. Put your hands <laughs> off, buddy. Well, congratulations, you folks. You've robbed the poorest person in the crossing. What is it to you? What is your name? I asked you a fucking question. That's what it is to me. <laughs> well, you can call me Thomas. Hi, Thomas. What makes you so pure? What makes pure me so man in the crossing right here? <laughs> pure, no pure. I am pure. What? Don't you try anything? You, you just said you were the purest man in the crossing. I said I was the purest right man. A purest? A carbine. I will take that, sir. Don't you try anything. You're unlucky day. It sure <laughs> is. Ah, oh, taking my five dollars. Wow, I hope this was worth it. Man, for me, that sure is hell was. <laughs> so, Thomas, what do you do around here? Uh, at the moment, I do nothing. You do around here? You got any hobbies? Like, let's say, you know, like hunting, fishing, any of that sort? My only hobby so far has been breaking into people's houses and stealing as much as I can get my hands on. So we're stealing from the people you stole from. <laughs> yep, pretty it's much. Like, it's like an anti-Robin Hood. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm into this. I like this. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I don't know. Ellers, they were sending them on his way. Yeah. So 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 don't you have. tell the law. All right, feller. You're free to go. go Excellent. Get on, get on out of here. I thank you for stopping, you know.
Don't let this stop from helping the people in the future. <laughs> Damn, we just got robbed. <laughs> Time to meet and cover up with Mrs. Daft. Hope to catch you soon. No problem, Daft Medic. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, man. Fuck. My fucking rifle gone. I said, I said poor, not pure. The poorest man. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hmm. I don't know what he said, but that guy, yeah. Ah, uh, should I tell the law or not? Off the bat, you're at work at 9 a.m. No problem, Ralek. Catch you later. This is telegrams here, isn't there? Oh, no. No, there isn't. There isn't. So, Thomas, you can't tell the law they stole what you stole from other people in town. No, but he doesn't have to say that part. And to be fair, Thomas mostly made his money by, um, mostly made his money by, um, stealing produce, which is already sold. So the money might not be legitimately earned, but, yeah. It is, uh, it is at least, uh, yeah, it might not be legitimately earned, but at least as far as traceability goes, nothing that Thomas has on him right now is stolen. Enjoy the rest of your stream. It was fun to watch and see what RP is about properly. Yeah, I don't think tonight was a really representative example because like, uh, I, well, Astrid got hurt really and it was a bit shit, but, um, but yeah, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed and, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, the coyotes. Wow, horse, come on. Hmm. All right. I should have forced the issue there. I should have forced the issue because I knew that was a fucking sell. It's like, you don't seem injured. And you've got that like genuine moment there of like, hmm, hmm, is this, is this, uh, is this like a game glitch or is it, is it, is it, is it real? Uh, which direction is it? So from Valentine, yeah. yeah, fuck it. We'll give some law RP. That's what we'll do. That is what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Uh-huh. 
sure that there is any ramen around. Fuck, that's annoying. Ah, uh, all right. I don't want the horse's shit as soon as you start. Man. Oh shit, is that me? Definitely not me. Compose telegram. Off. Oh. Uh, right, I need to switch my thing. So. They took my app. Wakens your likes. You folks in law tall, are you? Thank you. No? Alright. Uh my team speak has cracked there, hasn't it? No, we're good. We're good. Cool. Uh right. Not really much in Blackwater at the minute. Never a walk around. It's kind of funny walking past medical offices just like having absolutely nothing to do with medicine anymore. Hmm. Sounds a bit shit, really. Pretty Benson yesterday. Do we anyone here? Uh, I'll probably head up to Strawberry and then over to Annensburg because we need to get we need to we need money. We need to get our fucking pistol back. Uh, anyone is anyone even here? Um, yeah, all right. Nothing else going on. Um, yeah, let's head to Strawberry. 
see what we got. Blackwater is pretty fucking dead right now. Have you a server right now, I wonder? Uh, right, how busy is the server? 105! Okay, not, not the most busy, but not too bad, to be honest. Okay, so they told us not to go to New Austin without good guns, so we're not going to go down south of Blackwater. We'll go up to Strawberry and see if we can get RP going. So the thing is, starting out a new character is always hard in roleplay because you um, you've got to um, you've basically got to yeah, just go from nothing, absolutely nothing, um, and uh, crack on from there. Uh, right, let's change up the music a little bit. Uh, we can zoom to go back to the past. I think I need to correct the way that I do these things. Hmm. I think we'll do strawberry. Do a newspaper. Oh, we do. This is anxious music. This is. This is. This do be anxious. Everything okay over here? Uh, what's that? Is everything okay over here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, just randomly spinning because I don't I don't really have an explanation for it, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, I see somebody with their hands up, and then somebody running off, and then I get worried. This guy's blood, so he he uh, was wondering if I needed to um. I have uh, chocolate milk, so he ran away. He decided to lay about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was three days ago. Okay, I'm good. Mm hmm My concept of time is very bad. That's oh, okay. it seems he's coming back. Uh huh. It. Okay. Welcome back. I bet I don't know what you have. <laughs> uh, a lot of energy. We Just a bit. Uh, no. I'm s sorry, I didn't think I got your name. I'm sorry, I didn't do introductions. I was, well, <laughs> I've just been robbed, so um, oh, good. I was slightly worried about what was happening over here when I saw somebody with their hands up. Are you okay? Oh, sorry, I was just imitating a tornado. <laughs> Thanks, mm -hmm. Jesus. 
Uh, sorry, my name's Thomas. Thomas Henderson. Hey, Thomas. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Dovey. Hmm. I'm Marjorie. Mm -hmm. Nice We're to meet both, both of you. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hmm? So you don't have to really worry about us uh, robbing you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's How's good news, that at stick, least. Dovey? Sorry, it's How my safety you, stick. Um... I heard the word robbery. That's okay. Uh, have you, like, reached out to Law about said robbery at all? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Tried to find them in Blackwater, but, uh, unfortunately, there was nobody there. So I telegrammed. That was it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, if they, uh, if they needed a statement or something, they would likely reach out. Yeah, hopefully not. I didn't really get much of a look at them. It was pretty dark. Did it happen in Blackwater? No, Valentine. Ah, uh, the fucking calls Valentine. Jesus, I'm sorry. Yeah. Ironically, it's the one time I tried to um, actually leave the town that, uh, that something actually something bad actually happens. Sorry, I you excuse me. That's okay. Lovely meeting you. Mm, and you. Sorry, I won't keep you. I'm, uh... You're fine. Well, I'm pretty new to the crossing. Or, rather, I'm not. I've been here a few months, but I've never really left Valentine, so I thought I'd come and take in the sights. Oh, very uh, good. I... Strawberry is definitely a, a sight to take in. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Yeah. It's it's very quiet, relatively, you know, quaint here and all that. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I almost said the same thing about Valentine when I rocked in there, and then, well, mm. I got proven wrong. I was also uh, mistaken by Valentine, as that's where I originally arrived, so I completely understand. <laughs> uh, Valentine. Yeah, you know, I spoke, I spoke to a man in the saloon in Valentine, and, you know, we were having a wonderful discussion of why anyone would bother paying for the theater or the cinema when you can just go into the saloon and watch the <laughs> ridiculous things that happen there. You just people watch. No, that's great. Yeah, honestly, that's. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I used to work at the bathhouse over there a long time ago, and. Wait. Uh, oh yeah, I know this. Never mind. You, you know. This. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's basically all we would do all day. Obviously, you know, we would do our jobs and like turn about the rooms for new guests, and you know, make sure that the bath was nice and warm and all that. But then we would spend the majority of our time out on the porch and just watching people as they came and went, and it was extremely entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I thought the I folks. Think... Huh? Sorry, go on. Oh no, I was just. I was gonna say. Uh, what? Was... I think it was. Was it the first time, Josie? The first time we went to Keen's Pub, fucking what, the captain. What's his name? Captain Henderson. Yeah, Captain uh, Henderson, Henderson wrangled a bull into town. Yep. Fucking hell. <laughs> no relation to me. Just in case he's done anything bad. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Wait, is your last name Henderson? Yep, Thomas Henderson. Oh. There's a Captain I'm Henderson so sorry. and there's a Jojo Henderson. I believe they're related, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. Well, perhaps yeah, there's I'll There's like keep... a whole Henderson fan club, so <laughs> take that how you will. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if... I've... He's definitely in Gorma. He, he's gotta be. That seems like his uh... yeah. <laughs> Oh, He's a silly bean. I hope he's enjoying it out there. <laughs> he's probably found like a washed up pirate ship and thinks he's cold. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so sad. It but it's definitely true. Goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, what's your name, sir? I didn't catch it. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm Ranger Joey Crawford. Oh, well, I think, uh, well, that answers my next question of what it is you do around here. I play piano. <laughs> Hi there. Howdy. Is any of y'all, uh, Mr. Charlie Slack? Mm, nope. 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 All right. Yeah. Sorry. A Charlie Slack. She, um,. She's usually awake later. Um, okay. Do you... How much later do you know? Uh, uh, about two hours. Two hours later. 
hours later. All right. Uh -huh. My mistake. I just assumed it was a mister based on the name. But yeah, I'm That's looking. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for work and uh, a horse. Figured I could find both in the same place, maybe. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Charlie's wonderful, so uh, that's, yeah. that's definitely a good place to start. All right. I'll be back in a few hours, if not sooner, you know. All right. Appreciate yeah. it. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Take care. Yeah. Like, you know, Ed's... Ed's... Sorry. Ed's, you know Ed's uh, full or, you know, birth name? That it was oh, in... God, I have no idea. Yeah. God, I knew it at I one know. point. I just don't remember it anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Is on. it Edna? Uh, Edith. Edwina. Edith. Edith. Is it Edith Gertrude? I'm pretty sure. This is magnificent. I was, I was oh, trying to think of Edith, Ed names. Edith Gretchen. Is that it? All right. Yes. Should we go back to the office? You want to have fresh air? Because it, it kind of smelled like, you know, stuff in there. Surgical stuff. <laughs> yeah. Seeing as you had to get a puss from that guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What happens in the medical? No, no, no! You stop right there. What happens in the medical office stays in the medical office. Don't bring it here. Sorry. Okay. Well, we're gonna walk over here then, and we're gonna. Should I speak really loudly to make my fans? You know what? Do you know what? I stand correct. Strawberry does seem like an interesting place. I don't know what you're saying. Rangers and medics mixed together. What? What are you saying? It is great. I really like I it. Said hmm. it. I've never been before. It's a very pretty place, for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, you know, it's not like as large as Valentine, but it has most of the same things. I think really the biggest thing that it lacks is a bank. So, you know. Oh, well, no, that's, that's fine. Why it's so quiet? Yeah. No, that's it's wonderful. I quite love that. Mm -hmm. Well, I have no money to put in the bank, so you know, great. That is okay. Hmm. Perfect. I need to, uh, I need to find some way of getting money. Any mm. folks, uh, um, looking for work around here? Uh, milk run. yeah, uh, oh. I could recommend you milk runs. It's probably the most safest thing. I... There is a cougar, but it, uh, hangs <laughs> out in the backyard of the house. Um, and, you know, if you're Far away from it, you should be fine. Uh, there's also, if you're more into like harder work, uh, there's the lumber yard not too far from here. But if you're there at night, wolves can come up on you. And then I could, I highly recommend uh, fishing if you're into that. Uh, there's a great spot on the Dakota River that sells sand, or that, yeah, the Dakota River sells salmon. <laughs> Did that. You can catch salmon. And you can sell it to the man in Blackwater, and he'll buy it for really good prices. What aftercare medication? Do you it's like mm -hmm. almost twenty. Yeah. Twenty dollars a fish if you uh -huh. go to Blackwater. Hmm, that's pretty good. Dakota River, it, you yeah. say for salmon? If, it, if it's salmon. Yeah. Look, uh, look at your map. Mhm. Mm if you find the Cumberland Falls. Cumberland Falls, yeah. Just, okay. Go south of that, and where it says Dakota on the map, between the O and the T, there's like a little pocket. Okay. And salmon going down the river, they get caught in that pocket. So you can find a lot there. It's a yeah. very popular spot, so you might also find another fisherman. Um... And if you don't like fishing with a buddy, you can try some spots up closer to the Cumberland Falls. Uh, or just anywhere along the river. You see um, bubbles and ripples. You can try fishing. Good to know. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah, I don't exactly have any uh, buddies here, so um, <laughs> I'll probably be going by myself then. When I first came to the crossing, I um, did a lot of milk runs. Hmm. You have to go to the, um, well, you can go to any general store, but I recommend the Blackwater one because, well, it's right there. And you buy the empty bottles of milk. Uh, full. You get like 10 of them. Uh, and then mm -hmm. you take them to uh, McFarland's where they fill them up for you. And then you take them back to the general store. Huh, I see. 
Uh, how about enough? What, $40 a run? Well, <laughs> you get $40. They give you 50 I think, but the um, thing is, is you have to buy the empty bottles, and it's like seven fifty, I think, to buy the, the bottles of milk, so... Oh, shit. Okay. But it's not a very long run. It's pretty easy, and... Mm -hmm. um, to me, if you ask, I mean, if you ask me, it's easy money. Ah, eh, fair enough. I guess, uh, if I had a trade at all, I'm, uh, I'm a miner. Is there anywhere for mining in Saints Crossing? Yes, yes. there actually is. Oh, that's good to know. Because at the moment, I've got no money, but I do have a pick, so... Okay. That kind of seems to be where I'm going to need to start. Right. Um... Are you wanting is... to find gems? Are you wanting to do coal runs? Like, what are you wanting to do? Um, I don't really mind. Whatever nets me a lot of money. Because I'm telling you right now, well, I mean, gems alone, <laughs> if you buy a, what's that thing called? A gem color, um, mm -hmm. and cut them and make them look all pretty, you can sell them for really good prices huh. at the general store. But what I do is I go to mine, literally, right over there on Mount Shin, and um, I... Usually mine for coal, but I obviously get diamonds and rubies and uh, emeralds sometimes. And I uh, do coal runs. Coal runs give you a hundred dollars a run. Oh shit, that's good money. Uh, yep. There, are, the the only thing about that is you mine over here, and you have to take the coal with you to Ansberg, which is all the way okay. on the other side. Um, and they go to. Uh, the Heartland Oil Fields is where you take the coal to. It's huh. not not a difficult run. Uh, it only takes about uh, what would you say, Joey? About uh, eight about minutes. Five ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably about <laughs> eight minutes, and you get a hundred dollars. But you have to be real careful because people know that it gives you a hundred dollars, and you have to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Well, my dumbass got me robbed today so uh, I think I need to be a lot less tolerant of people uh, uh, people in strange circumstances asking for mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. do you know who it was? <laughs> no not a clue uh, a guy standing on the train track saying that he needed help being sideswiped by a train and... oh yeah never do that yeah yeah train tracks, never go on a train tracks that's always well they it was hit by a train nine times out of ten they will uh was he, he standing on the train tracks? Uh, next to them, on the on the on the crossing yes. between so, the tracks and the. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to Cody. interrupt. I was yeah. just wondering if y'all had uh, known of anyone saving anyone from Big Valley recently. I know the Rangers had a tip maybe about an hour ago. Uh, yeah, I think they're still on the the search and rescue, aren't they, Joey? Uh, gonna look. We did run into them about thirty minutes ago, but we still haven't heard from our friend either. So. I think he's still out there somewhere in a hard to find spot. Um, Big uh, Valley, in all fairness, is huge. Do you know if he was going to the actual like to the actual valley, like what they were doing out there? Yeah, he sent me a telegram almost four or five hours ago, saying he was going to go hunt in Big Valley, and we haven't heard from him since. Okay. Hunt in Big Valley. Do you know if he was going for bears or anything? Specific? Well, we do hunt bear from time to time, but mm -hmm. I assume that he'd be smart enough to not hunt a bear on his own well we would we would all like to think that wouldn't we <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that but right right we have searched alongside the rangers in the mm -hmm. common spots and have not found anybody yeah they're still out there from what it says here so yeah i'm thinking but we might I be alongside a cliff bell. or something maybe what's that about a bell And maybe a, oh he heard the bail is what he said oh which means we got another tip yeah someone's out in the great plains well um no you can go get that if you want you know where yeah. it yeah mm -hmm. all right well thank you all for the information i'm gonna go back uh -huh. to the big valley and see if i can find the rangers and see if i can get any information yes i just found kai wait you found kai Here, yeah. get on no no he uh he must have been dragged here by locals because he doesn't remember a thing. Well, where is he? Get on. He, he's over here. I'll go up, up to the uh, hotel. 
Jeez, sounds tense here. Um, you probably need to send that in as a tip, Joey. Or I can't yep. that they found him. Yeah, can hey, you? Deuce, yeah, how's yeah. it going? Uh, person okay. in, w w they this doesn't look like there, Astrid. Yep, right this ain't this ain't Astrid. Is, are those the ones that went out to Big Valley? Um, big group of four of them. <laughs> yeah, this is this ain't Astrid. This is this is Thomas. Okay. What was your name, Miss? Oh, uh, Josie Edwards. Okay. Ah, nice to meet you, Josie. Howdy. Um, I'm going to the Great Plains. Okay. Anyone want to come with? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask uh, where you said that mining site was? Some, uh, some locals, uh, um, town and he's a in the I hotel could right probably now, like, show you oh, better than I can tell yeah. you, yeah. but unfortunately oh. I can't. No yeah, right yeah. Right now. Well, you can yeah. oh, I'm glad you can try you to tell that. me then, That's and good. I can figure Let's it out. See. All right. Well, thank you for trying. Yeah, yeah of course. course. That's, That's what we do. Okay. Rain's coming. Um, you're oh, a bit of a hussy. Okay. Yeah, who's going on it out? Uh, Joey is. Alright. Buzz is coming, Plains. I'll come. And Jackson. I'm gonna get water first. Jackson, okay. Let me. I think it's. Where's Buzz? Hold on. Buzz. What? <laughs> um. This is the guy who found Astrid earlier. I told you that I go to the one you know that has a. Or you have to kick the dynamite box over. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. if you're looking at the map? I'm trying to explain to him where it's at. Uh, is that the? It's hello. not the um, the little trail How right underneath you? the I'm B, good. but it's the How second the okay. second trail, right? Is that where His it's name at? Name is Zephyrus. Under Big Valley. Where it's yeah, where it says Big mm -hmm. under yeah. Big Valley. It should be the okay. second one. The second one down, the second trail down then. I'm, um, oh. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I just wanted to be sure. Yeah. Alright, so if you're looking at Mount Shan, if you look uh, where it says Big under Big yeah. Valley, well, not kind of it's not the first to, uh, little trail there, but it's right. the second one. Yeah. And um, you have to be it's careful, you'll miss it because there's like trees trail, and but... such. So you uh, <laughs> have to like look to your left, it's on the left hand side. But that's okay. you get mostly the, uh, coal there, but every now and then you will get some gems. Um, you can uh, sell the gems. Do I? Why don't you get? Why don't you get an escort up there? Hell. Well, literally, when I got run over by that fucking horse, it popped my stitches. Oh, sorry to hear that. Fair enough. I would do the same. So, they said to give it at least one more day, and maybe I. Honestly, I was so ready to go back out there. <laughs> Oh. Uh, um, glad you guys are doing good. Hanging out, yeah. Get around, yeah. I mean, I could probably, <laughs> if you want to. Oh, I need to tell Joe. Right, I could probably wait, wait, ride, wait, wait. Like, ride with you. How are we gonna get back? Hey, I mean, it, hey, hey, it's hey, up hey. to you. I don't mean, put yourself you up for me. Right now. Guess what? Guess what? Like, guess can what? You, will you bring me back? I let the law. Yeah, I bring you back. Okay. Nah, you gotta leave you out there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright, so what this I mean, I can... what's your name, sir? Yeah, my name's Thomas. You can't just ask me, you know. Uh <laughs> I thought you knew, so thought you knew. <laughs> They had been talking to him for a while, but I was uh, sitting on the porch, kinda of like half in, half out like Yeah, I was really scared. My head over like, there, so I really didn't get like, anything. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> but we did it. I only had to stop like I think Yeah, well, uh, I'm happy to take you there. Uh, well, take you to show me where it is, and then I'll bring you back, and then I'll go back out and yeah, no hopefully fell. make some of this money uh, that I've no lost. One, no one died. Okay, and it's actually how much money and do you have on you right now? The, uh, the <laughs> me? Range. Nothing. I got robbed. I've got nothing left. Yeah. Okay, hold on. No, no, it's okay. I'll I'll learn my. No, I'm gonna thing. give you the money for a box. You'll appreciate it. I promise. Okay. How and much is a box? Axe. I've got a pickaxe. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Fifty dollars. So that's an expensive box. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Uh, Nathan's inside. Oh, something. Are, are you sure? Is he coming with us? Yeah. He is. Jeez, yeah. that's, uh, that's really kind of you. Thank you. We're gonna do Great Plains and Hennig instead. There. Well, if we oh, find the person at Great Plains, two people break off, get him to Blackwater, get him back here. Yep. And then uh, the others will go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah.
Was that, uh, did we see, was that Ivy that came into town? She well, if you sorry. have anything else you want to start, um, you can. Otherwise, I'm happy to set off whenever you want. She was in town, yeah, we can but do. I didn't yeah. hear anything from her. They were looking for their friend, too. Uh, yeah, okay. I, see. I think she just asked if it was yeah. the Rangers or them that found, uh, found them. Okay. Up you come. This is Willow. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to go left, and then we'll make the next track. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm Let me just very quickly stand check my directions for the split of the seconds. Yeah, you're good. Hello, sir. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to give you um, little markers. Uh -huh. I've learned where to get uh, places by s like rocks and a certain tree or something like that. So, yeah, landmarks. Yeah, helpful. it's really easy that way. <laughs> Better than checking your map every five minutes. Oh, most definitely. So at this marker here, you're going to go right. Yeah. Okay. Wild horses. <laughs> Thanks so much for this. It really is very kind yeah, of you. Yeah, not a problem. Here was me setting off to explore the crossing, given all I've really seen is Sand and Ian Valentine, and <laughs> lo and behold, I don't even get outside of the shit show that is Valentine, and suddenly I'm being robbed. Valentine sucks so bad. <laughs> Alright, if you will go right here at this crossroads, just remember the big the big rock wall, turn right. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a little steep, so you have to be careful here. Yeah, taking it nice and easy. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a sharp curve right here, too, so... Is the trail normally safe, or does it get dangerous at points? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Uh, go, let's see, where are we at? Yep, right here. Go down here. Go down this way. Go down, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and then, instead of going all the way to the bottom, I try to cut across right. I see here? this rock right here to your right? Mm-hmm. All right, just cut this way. Yeah. Keep going straight ahead. Keep going, keep going. And then you're going to go down these rocks right here. Be careful. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just go nice and slow. Yeah. And then you're going to go right on the trail in front of you. Yep. Oh, there looks like somebody uh, else is already here. You go out here. Yep. All right, <laughs> so... See these, this line of trees, right? If you yeah. cut left and go mm -hmm. in these trees. Oh, the, I see. The mine is here. Perfect. Um, what I typically do is uh -huh. I continue to take my horse all the way up the way there, um, where the, that group of trees is. Up there. And I usually hitch my horse there. Right, because, okay. Because, as you saw, when we first came around the corner, we saw a tree horses which means there are people here if somebody comes around the corner and there's no horses and they're literally just out to rob people nine times out of ten they won't even stop if there's no horses yeah wise very smart yep so this is it and if you look at your map it literally is at the very end of the little road there yeah <laughs> grand yeah. yeah right so, so you Yep, you can take me back, and then I'll show you where to get a box, um, because it will fit really good on the back of your horse. Yeah. 
and it will help carry help you carry more things. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. And you can either go left here or go all the way down to the bottom yeah, and turn left up down there. Yeah, I usually just go this way. Go a little bit further down. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Well, you're yeah. a mile away from the tree. I will say that horses do not like rocks. <laughs> so it's <laughs> usually sometimes hard to maneuver around them. Yeah, I can already see that Will is a mm -hmm. bit uh, resistant on the reins here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Ah, Come on, Willow. Let's go. <laughs> Do you live in Strawberry then? Um, I say that Strawberry is my home, but I, I don't live there. I um, right now I'm kind of just uh, me and my boyfriend are doing a like staying at different camps. We're doing it like a camp expedition. Every night we stay at a different camp. Huh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Actually. Yeah, we're actually having a really good time doing it. Good, I'm glad. I uh, have some supplies for camping. Um, oh, nice. Now that I've been robbed. Uh, I'm so sorry that oh. happened to you. Uh, it's all right. Uh, it's my own stupid fault. I thought that man wasn't injured, but I don't know. Then I yeah, kinda, if I had I the promise notion that... you, if somebody has been hit by a train, they will not be standing. <laughs> um. So don't uh, don't stop for anybody on a train. <laughs> Julie noted. Julie noted. Mm -hmm. If they're actually injured on the train, they can call out to the locals for help, and we will go try to find them. So, um, I would not stop for anybody on a train, <laughs> like train track. So, uh, yeah. A lesson learned. Left. Ooh. It is left. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. No, it's fine. You should have seen me when I first came to the cross, and it was like, I'm never going to remember any of this. <laughs> but now I know a lot of it. Not all of it, but a lot of it left the back of my hand, so. Yeah, a very kindly gentleman in Valentine told me that uh, I should uh, make some money and invest myself in better weaponry before I uh, venture to certain parts of the, uh, the crossing. Uh, yes. <laughs> and given that I've already lost my fucking pistol, uh, then... Uh, Alright, if you'll go across the bridge here. Yeah? I'm going to show you where you can get a box. Sure. Um, do you know where the butcher stand is right here on the right hand side? Uh, no, but I think I can okay. see some hanging animals, so I assume yes. it's going to be All here. Right. So this is the butcher stand, and then that lady right behind the butcher stand will oh, yeah. show you a box. Ah, I see. <laughs> They're pressing the wrong fucking button. Huh. All right, and if you take it to your horse and open its uh, saddlebags, you should be able to just uh, drag your box up to like an empty space on your horse. Uh, it says I can. It says that it has something on its back. Mm. Willow, what are you hiding from me? <laughs> All right, do this. What put the Put, you should be able to put just put the box down on the ground. But yeah, yeah, no, Limo, this isn't this isn't Astrid. We're uh, we're gonna. So Astrid got injured earlier today. So and maybe try to get on your horse and hitch it somewhere. I, I... Um, any hitch posts near here? Um, if you go over here, you should be able to hitch it in the grass. If you uh, okay. point your horse's nose toward the ground, 
Uh, you should oh. be able to hit it. Let me see if I can do it. Hmm? Oh, sure. Uh, maybe. There, okay, you can take your hands. Okay, there we go. Ah, Willow's got a nice temperament. I doubt it will. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right, now we try. All right. Now, if you go get your box. Now we try. Mm -hmm. So, can you remind me, you said some stuff needs to be sold at Annisburg and some stuff needs to be sold at Heartlands? Okay, so what's going to happen is when you, once you get your coal... Yeah. Uh, it'll be in stacks of 20. You will... No, I still can't. I still can't. You can't drag it up no. to the empty... Um, the, the empty box at the bottom. Yeah, I can't seem to get it attached. It seems there's something else in the back of the horse, somehow. That doesn't make understand. any sense. Um, I know. I, unfortunately, I won't be able to do it for you because I obviously can't look inside your saddlebag, so... Yeah, that's alright. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if I've just, uh, been so kind of dazzled by being robbed that I might need to take a quick, uh... You know. Oh, that's possible. You can yeah. um, you can put your box down, and I can pick it up for you. And if you want to take a nap, you can. Let's do that then. I'll uh, head down Waterside and see if I can't rub some of the dirt at my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's so surprised at me playing Thomas, by the way. Uh, right, let me, let, me put my, let me put my camera on. Uh, right, let's do it. F8, go ahead. I just got a message, uh, Deuce and Limo. I got a message from Bear just now, and he was just kind of like, Are you Thomas in all caps? <laughs> just like that vocal range. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using my guy voice for this one. <laughs> Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> uh, okay, let's put the tiger. <laughs> right. Fighting the urge to click on Astrid here. But yeah, here we go, Thomas. Thomas Hendrick. So yeah, we do some coal runs, eh? Huh? <laughs> Thanks for guarding the garden net. Mm-hmm. Now, if you will call your horse, it's probably close. Um, Willow? Maybe not. Just about as close. Oh, wait. oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, how did it get so far away? Come on, Willow. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, let's try this again. Hey, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry that takes so long. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Ah. Um, yeah, so that will help you tremendously because uh, once you have so much coal in your pockets, then, um, you know, you, your pockets get weighed down. So that right there will help you with uh, carrying your coal. Um, also, so... What happens is you, the gems that you get, uh, you can sell them at the general store. Mm -hmm. If you buy a gem cutter and actually cut them, you will get more for them. Mm -hmm. um, the coal that you get, you take the coal to Ansberg and you talk to a guy there and he'll give you a wagon uh, to use with the coal on the, that you have on the inside. Yeah. And then you just take it to the Heartland oil fields and drop it off there. All right. Sounds good. You can uh, always have your horse follow you too. Um, that way, once you uh, drop the wagon off at the oil fields, you'll have your horse to get back to Innsberg or wherever you need to go. Yeah, you don't get stranded. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I guess I'll wait for daybreak and uh, go and do some mining, I guess. Yeah, of course. I would uh I would offer you up something for uh for showing me all that, but uh well well unfortunately my situation mm -hmm. financially yeah. is something precarious. Yeah. If you need any more help, let me give you my telegram number. Oh, and sure. if you need any more help uh with anything or have any questions, uh you can uh feel free to send me a telegram. Yeah, sure. Uh let me just pull out a notebook real quick. I don't even have a pen to Mm -hmm. It's a O A as in oranges, apples, four, three, one. Four, three, one. And it was mm -hmm. Josie Edwards, isn't it? Yes. Well, thank you. Uh, honestly, your help has been very, very kind. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm glad I could help you. And if I get a nice shiny gem, I'll, uh, Sure to give the first one to you for your kindness today. You don't have to do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it would mean a lot to me if I could. Yeah, well, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I've got to find them, and then I've got to get enough money to get a gem cutter or whatever, and uh, yeah, so it won't be any well, the, soon, but... the, well, the gem cutter is quite expensive. Uh... I actually think if you want them cut, I actually think that my boyfriend Joey has one. So yeah. you can always bring them to us and he can cut them for you. Oh, huh. that's good to know. I think the gym cutter is like $200, $300. So oh, jeez. Yeah, it's it's ridiculously expensive. <laughs> it is. It really is. Good yeah. lord. Yeah. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to telegram me. Yeah, sure. I think I'm going to have a bite to eat, and then, uh, well, when daybreak comes, I'll uh, set off to do some mining. Yep, I am going to go back over here by the lodge. You're welcome to go with me if you want to. Yeah, sure. So are you with the rangers as well? Company. Anyway, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm currently on medical leave, though. Um, the, the... Oh, yeah, yeah. I was attacked by a cougar earlier in oh, the week, geez. and then... I was literally getting ready to get my stitches out, and a horse trampled me. Oh god! And busted my stitches open. So. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, I think the medic is hoping that since they were already well on their way to to being pretty much healed, that they heal quickly. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well. Well, I wish you all the best in your recovery. Thank you. Appreciate that. Do you have a canteen? Yeah, I do. All right. 
filled it up you before I left Valentine. Bandages or medical bags? Do you have all of it? Uh, one medical bag, five bandages. Fantastic. I'm kind of, I've only got a really crappy rifle to defend myself with, but my first protocol will be get enough money in and replace my pistol that was taken from me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. The pistol that I have is probably more, I spent way too much money on it, way more than I should have, <laughs> uh, considering that uh, people get robbed and they're crossing all the time. Um, yeah. But the good thing about this one is, is I bought it myself. Yes, it's heavily customized, but if somebody were to take it from me, it's not like I can't get it back again. So I can go buy another one and be perfectly fine with that. Hey, Hal. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Hal, this is Thomas. He's new to the crossing. Oh, nice to meet you, Thomas. Nice to meet you too, Hal. He was uh, in Valentine today and uh, was robbed of all his possessions. So <laughs> I was uh, telling him how to go mining. And uh, Jesus, all right. Yeah. Well, they left. They left me my crappy rifle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess they probably got better things than that to worry about. <laughs> they did take my pistol, but yeah, their rifle wasn't worth stealing. What kind of pistol did you have? Oh, God, you know, I can't even remember. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's all right. It's my own fault. It was an obvious, uh, it was an obvious trap, and I walked right into it. Uh, you know... It happens out here, unfortunately. <laughs> Especially yeah. for people who try to be nice all the time. You know, you get wrangled into situations, really. I got robbed um, right here yesterday. Oh, yesterday. geez. God, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I thought Dovey said, I thought Dovey said Strawberry's a quiet place. No it is, is, for the most part. No it is, is, for the most part. Huh. I mean, pretty much, I mean, every now and then somebody will get taken hostage here, but... Oh, and geez. And then every now... I mean, but the thing is, is like they come in, they take them, they leave, um, and then go to somewhere that has a damn bank because, well, we don't have one here. And then, um, <laughs> as I mean, and the worst thing I think we've ever really had around here is like people getting robbed. But for the most part, it is pretty quiet. It's not uh, as bad as other areas. I got kidnapped from here once by a psychopath. But other than that, I mean, I got I got saved by the mob like right after it happened, so I was totally fine. I got oh. taken hostage here by Boone's boys. Jesus. Boone's yeah. boys. We sound so callous about it, just because I guess that's just a way of life. Right. We're, as sad as it is to say this, is where I guess we're kind of used to it. Oh, jeez. I wish that really sucks, confidence. But... There's a lot of good here, too. We're not going to... There really to... is. There yeah. isn't. Well, you folks seem quite nice. And Delvey and Marjorie, who I met earlier, they seem nice. Mm -hmm. They're both medics, and they're amazing people. Hmm. Get on them. Yeah. Um. This is uh, you're standing in front of the ranger headquarters right now. This is oh, yeah? where we predominantly work out of, but there are ranger stations all over uh, the crossing. And what's uh, you ever what's seen the... anybody in a green poncho like that, mm -hmm. or even a gray one? I'll, I'll do a little spin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, those people are rangers, uh, and they will help you if you need it. All right. I like to think that our little family is made out of the best people in the crossing. So. And what's uh what's the remit of the Rangers? I understand from my reading of the papers that it's a uh, you know uh, an establishment, us, but yeah, basically the Rangers are people that are just very knowledgeable at the crossing, the wilderness, the you know the nav our ways around and everything. We try to learn as much as we can. We go out and look for some people. Uh, we escort people, and we just try to help them in any way we can. Hmm. Well, it sounds like you do a very good job of that from what I've seen so far. Very knowledgeable, very helpful. <laughs> well, if you ever find yourself lying on the ground, okay. we'll come looking for you if we can. So. Oh, that's good news. I, uh, I hope in the nicest possible way not to have to see you in that capacity, but <laughs> it's good to know it's there. Something. Nobody ever wants to see us like that, but... <laughs> I think maybe you've been a lot there so long, but you'll be happy to see us, I would think. 
well, that's true. But that's true. That is true. Um, I think there was a man one time. <laughs> do you remember when that guy was laying in Chella Springs for like four days? Yeah, I remember that. Holy shit. The man literally laid in Chella Springs for four days. And, but we looked and we Every looked day. and we looked and we looked and we could not find anybody. And uh, finally, it wasn't it Buzz that found him. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. And literally a place where he just kind of stumbled upon him on accident. We probably never would have found him otherwise. Wow. I mean, it's a big... Which, I'm going to go check the tip line, but I'll be right Okay, back. okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a busy job you have, for sure. Um, It can be. Sometimes it's a little bit... Uh, not as busy, but... Uh, the bell has been going off a lot this evening, so... Well, it looks like oh. we're fine. Everything's being responded to, so... Okay, good. They got four rangers in the Great Plains right now, which seems unnecessarily high response, but... And it's funny, because I thought they would be right back, because the Great Plains is literally, like, probably about two or three different places, and then the... Yeah, where I you would be down, one, but they've like, been gone. Two minutes out there. Do what? <laughs> Last time I went to the Great Plains, I found him in two seconds, so... I know, I know. It's either Kerrigan's or Quaker's. Those are usually the places. Huh. <laughs> there's a cougar at Kerrigan's, and there's about two or three oh, cougars sorry. out at Quaker's. Sorry, I don't mean to Hey, interrupt. Lizzie. No, um, yeah. I don't know who to speak to about this, but I just wanted to put in, um, I don't know, uh, a good word. Uh, a ranger named Kiono helped me uh, escort a patient uh, I believe it was yesterday. And it was yesterday. Did, yeah, he did amazing. Was super gracious. Aww. Super oh, wonderful. Shit. Super helpful. Hi, D Matt. Just, um, Welcome in. All around Hello. Just great. Um, Excuse me the whole second. time. Uh, even went all the way to. Uh, Welcome in. Black Welcome Black. in. Welcome in. Hello. Let me just come over here and smoke, uh, smoke a cigarette. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Let's give you one of them shout outs. And we'll find out a little bit more about what you were doing. Adi Mac. Doing some Red Dead Redemption too. All right, let's see some of this. Purchasing some stuff. The, the watching of clips is sometimes an inexact science at best. <laughs> oh, <right>. okay. <laughs> no idea why somebody clipped this. No, honestly, sometimes sometimes people clip the weirdest things, and all you can really do is go through and like periodically get rid of like the really crap ones. Um, so are are you a wild RP streamer as well, ID Mac? Um. I'm glad to hear your stream was good. I'm glad to hear your stream was good. I, uh, I'm i playing on my alt character for the first time on stream today, which is uh, which is pretty interesting. Oh, I have a telegram. Oh, that's a bit interesting. All right, okay. Um, but yeah, do you play on wild? Uh, if so, what, who is your uh, who is your um, your character? My my main is normally uh, Doctor Astrid Alex's daughter, but uh, she is currently indisposed in somebody's bedroom, not very well. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, are you there? Hello, folks. Hello. Ah oh, shit. Uh, I was hoping. Uh, I was hoping to bump into Calvin here. Uh, just okay. finish your first first playthrough. Ah, so you've actually been playing the Red Dead Redemption story. I see, I see. We have, uh... Hello. Howdy. Uh, yeah, I've not actually finished the, um, the, the story. I have been, um, yeah. So this isn't, this is Red M. This isn't strictly Red Dead Online, so... Alright. So what do you folks do when there's not a, uh, not, what was it you called it? The bell going off? Uh, when there's nothing on the tip line, we do other patrols, uh, monitor the roads, monitor the animal dens, um, 
people pick up personal projects, study certain mm-hmm. animals they want, or uh, yep. go herb collecting, or just ride around between our towers, making sure that everything's still right. aligned, too. Like, huh. uh, right now we have somebody who is observing the bears around Oak Race. Yeah. Um, that is something that she wanted to do. So role play is good. If you're interested it. in role play, role play is um, definitely a fun experience. I thoroughly recommend like, it because I like do it said, We have other people who are like more herbalists that like to go do herb stuff and like each of us have our thing that we I do. No worries, ID Mac. Thank you for the raid. Enjoy the lark. We're, We're all different. We all got special our downtime, right? Yeah. Huh. That's really cool. It's such a different way of life from what I'm used to. Oh, you and me both. I'm, I'm from New York, so <laughs> this is completely different. I'm from Cope well, Bridge, and I'm from Cope Bridge in Scotland. We've got the steelworks, we've got the coal mines, the pits, just industry, dark towers. <laughs> I thought I recognized that accent. <laughs> you think I've got an accent? A lot of people tell me I don't have a very. Uh, I don't have a Honestly, very first, Scottish accent. At, at first, I didn't hear it. But the more we talked, I was like, he's got an accent. You should, you should uh, <laughs> meet then, Maddie, then. Meet Maddie? Maddie. Who's yeah. that? Uh, one um, of our recruits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> her father was Scottish, so. Oh, I see. I see. Well, yeah. well and thanks. He was a great ranger at it, too. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, uh, Josie, uh, Josie here has, uh, been, well, quite instrumental in, uh, in giving me a means to support myself after today's, uh, <clears throat> unfortunate occurrence in Valentine's. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might end up spending, uh, spend some time here, you know? Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. So maybe I'll get to see this, Maddie. Uh, I hope so. I hope so. She's she's amazing. She's. I don't see her nearly as much as I wish amazing. I could. Me too, actually. Me too. Well, uh, you know, Strawberry's a pretty busy town with uh, the amount of doctors and rangers that stop in through here, so. Right. You will not run out of people to talk to, I'm sure. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That is good to know. Nine times uh, out of ten, if you can throw strawberry and there's nobody here, if you'll wait about five or ten minutes, somebody will always show up. <laughs> that's that's good to keep in mind. That is good to keep yeah, in mind. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. I, uh, I don't really have anybody I keep in contact with here in the crossing, so, uh, you know, yeah, it would certainly be good to have uh, some people to chat to when I'm not, you know, buried arms deep in the mines. <laughs> Yeah, you're well, welcome you to come a, here and talk a, a to any of us. Or a way around mm-hmm. any questions, you know. We are the people to ask those questions, too. If so. you know, need to know uh, how to get somewhere or whatever, just come find somebody in green and we'll gladly help you. Yeah, sounds good. Well, the sun is up, so I think I'll make hay while the sun is shining and uh, go pay a visit to the mines, huh? Sounds good. Be careful. Which one are you heading off to? The uh, one okay. that you showed me. He's right. going to the one on Mount Shin. Oh, okay, the one <laughs> close by. Yeah. Okay, not Sirens. The other one, right? Oh, no, no, no. Not Sirens. Ugh. Wait, is it normally closed off, did you say? Sirens is um over in Big Valley, but uh, it's quite dangerous to try to get into because there is a bear that literally almost guards it daily. Um, so, uh, and then, I don't know, I feel like that one gets a... Uh, people go it's there busier. with intent to rob more, too, so... Huh. I used to go there all the time, and then I stopped mining because now we get paid, so... <laughs> <laughs> wow. A fortunate position to be in. Well, thank you very much for the conversation. Yeah. Thank you very much for showing me these things, and, um... Yeah, of course. I, uh, well, I won't be a stranger. You two take care. I hope not. Yep, see you soon. So we got a telegram a while ago. Let's go check what that was about. Da, 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 da. I fell into a burning ring of fire around, and then, then, then I 
has to play through life. Shit. To Valentine we go then. Uh, are they actually still there? They usually run away from you though, but I guess there is a chance. Seems uh, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you. Uh, seems the law wants to speak to me about what happened in Valentine, so I'm gonna head uh head away to speak to them, so I won't be in the mines just in case anyone anyone wonders. I'm not where uh. Okay. <laughs> Where I was supposed to be. Well, stay safe. Yeah, yeah okay. I will. And uh, once I'm done in Valentine, I'll uh, head back up here and hopefully do some mining and actually make some money. Sounds good. Thanks, folks. Nice. Oh, um... Oh, they're in conversation. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to talk to them. I was going to say goodbye to them as well, but, um, yeah. Fuck. Davi, a pleasure meeting you today. I'm uh, I'm gonna head uh, out to Valentine. See All you right. later. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Take care. Oh, uh, Marjorie. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Uh, pleasure meeting you today. I'm uh, I'm just heading out of town for uh, well, go see the law about that goddamn robbery. But uh, it was a yeah, pleasure yeah. meeting you. And uh, pleasure take care. You. Israel. Yes, don't do this to me. What it oh 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 um, oh, oh. The best part is they two are probably talking about Astrid. <laughs> Which is for those of you who don't know my other character, my main character. Right, let's go take a little. Alright. Go to Valentine. That was bear. I'm sure that was bear. I'm so fucking sure that was bear. <laughs> Wait, is this even the right way? I thought it was a right. Oh shit, yeah, it was. I'm a fucking shitty rifle. This has been fun, actually. <laughs> uh-huh. Right, let's go see this Deputy Kennedy. Where the fuck that is. 
Oh, it's so it's so hard because norm norm normally even when I'm talking like this, I normally try and talk in a bit of a higher range even when I am talking like this. Not quite astrid range, but like you know, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this as as chesty as possible for Thomas. But it's really fucking hard. <laughs> Is that really fucking hard? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I might make. I might not make Thomas a criminal. I wonder. Now that he's out of Valentine, I mean, the vibe is completely fucking different. Like, um, yeah. Alright, we're gonna ride along the train tracks around. If we fucking see them. If we see them again, we're basically gonna fucking clap them. Clap and kids. Sign on. Uh, I'm not on. Right, to the sheriff's office with us then. Let's go see what um let's go see what's uh, what's in store here. It's so it's so hard. I've done so much fucking streaming as Astrid. It's like, yeah, let's go see what's in store for Astrid next. This isn't Astrid. This is Thomas. And like, this is so I've done 25 episodes of Wild RP, something like 35 episodes of Western RP with Astrid as as my main, you know, so that's like 60, 60 episodes of streaming as Astrid and even more, probably a hundred sessions of playing as Astrid. Hmm. We're in space here. Yeah, possibly not. We just hitch a horse here. Ah, uh, not really. Yeah, not really in space. Fine. Ah, <clears throat> uh, there. Oh. Ah. Uh. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. Uh, I was told to come find the deputy Kennedy. Deputy Kennedy, who- Deputy Kennedy. Oh. What's your name there? My name's Thomas. Thomas? Okay, Thomas. You're the one that sent in the, uh, the yeah. dick regarding getting robbed? Yep. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, disarm you here real quick, and I'll take you inside. We'll take a report from you, all right? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Let's go ahead and put your hands up for me, please. <laughs> You'll get I feel, like <laughs> I feel like I'm in trouble. No, you're not in trouble. I, it's a policy to disarm anybody that comes inside of the sheriff's office. <laughs> not in trouble at all, actually. Don't 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 feel that way. Come on in. Yeah, well. I was hoping Bad to get a. Here? 
I was hoping for this to be a clean break for me, you know. Uh, as a kid, I uh, got up to all kinds of no good. Well, these things do happen from time to time. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Very kind. Um, all right. Uh, let me get your, your full name first and last and your telegram. Just for the paperwork, please. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what is my telegram? <laughs> um, so my full name Actually, is... Uh, I still have the telegram noted. DD046. Good. I'm glad that you do because I scarcely remember it. The clerk had to no tell worries. me when I was sending the, the tip in. <laughs> no worries. Uh, so what my full name... Your, uh, first and last? Yes, please. Uh, my full name is Mr. Thomas Henderson. Thomas Henderson. All right. Uh, and in your own words, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be writing down word for word what you're saying for the statement. So just do me a favor and take a breath every once in a while and give me a chance to uh, to write this down <laughs> as fast as possible, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. So in your own words, what? Uh, tell me what happened. Um, I left Valentine heading southbound, and uh, where the path crosses the train tracks, there was a gentleman standing. He was just standing there. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was about, so I drew my uh, I drew my long arm. He told me that he was injured, and that he'd been side swipes side swiped by the train. Uh, and uh, needed assistance. And then, of course, uh, my idiot self stopped. And then at that point, that's when the other two came out, pointing their guns at me. I turned to face them, and then the man himself threw his gun on me as well. All right. They uh, they took me off the path um, no, 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 no. into the forest where there were some strange pendants hanging from the trees. And yeah, they were up me. Took my pistol and the money that I had on me, which was $5. <laughs> well, they prove me wrong. They left your uh, long rifle? Maybe the other ten person. Yeah. They took your pistol and just $5? Those two yeah, that nah, okay. was all the money I had on me. I even laughed at them that they'd probably rob just about the poorest person in the crossing right now. What kind of pistol did you have? It's just a cattleman. Okay. Um, can you describe them as best you can? Uh, the male was wearing dark clothing. Um... There was one female in dark clothing that had some kind of full face animal mask with horns on. And the other female had a um had a like a pink and white polka dot face mask covering her face. Unfortunately it was nighttime and we were in the woods, so I didn't exactly get a good look at them all. Okay. All right. Uh, can you describe the horses to me at all? Uh, I didn't actually see that they had any horses anywhere. So that when they when they took you off you know, of you the path, right did they um they walk they walked me. you out there? Yeah, it was a very Where short distance. Um, After they robbed you, did you see what direction or anything? Uh, yeah, they stayed in their uh, in the bushes with their uh, their weapons unholstered, waiting for me to leave. They told me if I went back to Valentine to report it. Well, they said don't report. They they said don't tell the law about this. I assume it was meant to be a threat if I did, but well, what are they gonna do to me now? <laughs> I was dispensing justice. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Did you happen to recognize any specific features about them, such as customized weapons, anything specific that might help us identify them? Uh, anything? 
No, so um, like I said, it was dark. I never really got a good look at the guy. Uh, he, I don't think, had his mask on at first, and when he did have it on, it was just a dark colored mask. Like I said, one of the ladies had a um, had a kind of pink with white polka dot face mask, and then one of the other females had, um, like I said, a full face kind of animal mask with horns. Horrible sight to behold. Okay, did you, how would you describe each one of their voices? Is there any, any specific distinct accents or, or anything that you could describe about them? Um, pretty standard for the guy and one of the females. The female with the full face mask was quite high pitched in voice. It was muffled a little bit by the full face mask, but was quite high pitched when she spoke. High pitch, and is that the one with the, the, the full face animal mask? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Writing report. Ripley. Okay. Um. Oh, this Ripley. This is um Shipley. He's his brother. He's the. He's Ripley and Shipley. Um, Fucking hell. Let's see if I got any other questions here. Just thinking. Um. I think I, I think I got just about everything. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll fill out the report. Uh, we'll get it put out there, and we'll try to find people matching this description. Uh, if you do think of anything else, send a telegram to law. Uh, yeah. If you want to come down to a station or just something comes back to mind, or if you see them even, don't approach them. Don't uh, don't 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 try to get your property back. Let us know so we come down there and take care of it. If they have your property, we'll get it back to you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, Mr. Henderson. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, walk you out. Glad you're all right. Didn't hurt you at all. And uh, I'll get your property back. You'll be good to go, all right? Thank you. I'm going to walk you out the back since the front's pretty busy. <laughs> sure thing. And there you go. All right. Thank you kindly. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you coming down and uh, reporting this. And like I said, we'll do what we can to find them. Yeah, no worries. I mean... In the grand scheme of things, he took next to nothing off my poor arse, but, you know. It's more the uh, the fact <laughs> that they're going around robbing people. Yeah, exactly. Because if they do it to somebody else, well. Hmm. Ears. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry about that. Uh, as I was saying, uh, it, it, it's more about uh, you know the fact that these yeah. people are going to ro robbing people, and we don't want to escalate to, to something more than that. Yeah, that was why I that was why I passed it on. All right, thank you so much, there, uh, Mr. Henderson. And you have a good day, all right? Yeah. Take care, Deputy Kennedy. Ha! <laughs> ah, maybe Thomas won't become Wallace. Maybe Astrid. Maybe Astrid is destined to be my crim character. <laughs> Shove it. That's my friend in there. Yeah. Well, he's got work to do. <sighs> Don't be like them, El Coyote. Don't be like them, El Coyote. <laughs> Yeah, boy. So we'll no, but he, this oh, one actually sounds like a bona fide one, like from uh, Texas or, or something, or Oklahoma. Uh, or, uh, how are you doing, lad? Wyoming. <laughs> oh, good grief. This is a, this is a busy place. <laughs> oh, it does to be. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> Could I have a bottle of whiskey, please? Of course, oh, sir. Uh, 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 sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't hear. Uh, do you have a preference on the type, sir? Uh, something that's strong. All right, sir. Coming right up. Is is he is he is he? What what is he doing? What's he doing? What's there new in there? Don't mind so these strong. two, sir. They's about to say some wild shit. So. No, we're not. Don't mind this gentleman. He's he's he's, he's a friendly friendly guy, but he's a bit misguided. <laughs> Howdy, sir. What's your opinion on the cougars? 
Yeah. Go how much? Uh, how much is that, sir? Whatever you can spare. Oh, never mind. He sounds like a child. Move on. <laughs> oh my God! I told you she's gonna say some wild shit. What? Uh, Thank you, sir. So nice to see something pleasure. you can be honest oh, what's her name, folks man? while you just kind Name's of Name's Thomas. <laughs> Thomas B. Oh, well, what's her name? 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 I'm not going to call you Mr. <laughs> Thomas. Uh, Thomas Henderson. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Henderson. My name is Mr. Black. Oh, I'm pleasure. hasn't been the same since hmm. people forgot about the almonds. Mm. Uh, you, you can really uh, if you do stay around, uh, uh, you know, we have a roasting session do. courtesy of those, uh, those two lovely ladies. It ain't a roasting session. Yeah. We're just making chatter. I do apologize if I was rude, sir. A roasting yeah. session while, well, like, insulting people. Uh -huh. gonna well, like mostly me. Just engage it a little nice bit and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, sure. <laughs> see, we can do that with him because he's handsome. <laughs> Excuse me? No, I said you're right handsome. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were talking you're about the other bug. lad. Hey, I'm old. I, I know. And that's that why I'm bad then. Ah, jeez. I mean, you can you tell us about your experiences and laugh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Quite mm -hmm. a sensible nest egg as well. I honestly forgot what Valentine was like, and I've not yes. even spent a full day away from here. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Said I almost forgot what Valentine was like, and I've not even spent a full day away from here. Why would you well, come back? Why would oh, you Valentine? not? Valentine, Valentine freedom, is sir. a jewel oh, of the crossing. I have an apron. I can stand behind her. That's a law. And you're also wearing red. Huh. Hey, oh my lord, that's right. We're married now. Hello, I'm Mrs. Black. Oh wow. Nay, Vanderbilt. Things are moving so quick. They're oh, no. Might be one person who's going to be very <laughs> happy to hear that. You have a girlfriend. Oh lord! No, 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 no. You, you got to use a quarter, ah, Mister Black. See, we're, we're, we're pretty good. Wait, what? A courtier, quarter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody Wait. is some lock, lady, lady or fellow is he talking to? Mister Mister Black, was Caesar just standing there a minute ago? Red oh. coat, red coat. Yes, Caesar? he was. Yes, he was. Mm -hmm. what, Handsome gentleman he... in red. Yes, he was. Yes. Where did he go? <laughs> He went upstairs, I think. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's a handsome man. Of course, I'm going to keep an eye out for him, you dumbass. Oh, my God. Hmm. Actually, good oh. point. Fair, yeah, fair mm. enough. Fair enough. You know now, what? I like I, you. I like you quite a bit. Yeah. I like you, too. And I, again, I'm, this is all in jest, and I apologize if or I good luck to you. this rude. Uh, I'm going to restart. Things. You're just saying that so that uh, I think... Restart team speak. Because we're having a little issue. Please, I could be so lucky. Yep, she just said well, that. I mean, so. in the long run, yeah, I, I, I'm I so don't. Glad, I'm so I don't glad need for the. Someone has the look, she done it. fell in love, got married, had kids. Look at her. I, I, I did think not. The, Excuse the, me. Excuse me, I ain't shout out nothing for my cooter, thank you very much. I learned this mistake from my mama. Oh, yeah. Uh, exactly. Did you come out there? Uh, no, yeah. she she died. You were the only child, weren't you? She, she she died, like, a week after I was born. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So, thanks, if Jack asks. Uh, Not you. You're, you're actually quiet, Mr. Hatman. Mr. Hatman. <laughs> Mr. Hatman. <laughs> what is your name, sir, please? Mr. Henderson. Thomas Henderson. Mr. Henderson. You sound like a criminal. I'm going to stand here. I apologize. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I sound like a criminal. criminal. No, no, no he's not a criminal because like Tom... he's not wearing all black. I'm sorry, but the name like Tom Henderson, you think he's like wanted in Sisica or something. <laughs> Sir, are you? Wait, are you? Hold on a minute. You, you, you just became like are ten times you? hotter. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, hold on. I'm not wanted in Sisica, but I am. Dangerous? That makes I am one. Valuable. <laughs> No, wait, never mind, oh he's back God. to four. Yes. No. I'm only wanted in one country, as far as I know. Oh, Is it Denmark? No. I bet no. It's Denmark. Sweden? Scotland. Scotland? <laughs> what you do there? Scotland. They let you do you anything Scotland? there. Um, would you believe me if I told you I stole a tram? A what? Oh my lord, even your crimes are boring. <laughs> <laughs> what I did you steal? Those... I, I would have figured it may be like one of those killed accidents, you know? Killed <laughs> accidents? You mean yeah, you someone's passing. penis? 
Well, who knows? Maybe some lady was passing by, lifted his, uh, his you know, killed while he was asleep, and then tied a ribbon ab uh, about him. They, that he did, has they a... need my binoculars to see anything interesting. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Actually, hold on a minute. Let me excuse me. Just going to go ahead and... Uh... There we go. Oh, God oh I forgot. I, I forgot how strange town this <clears throat> was. <laughs> you know what? Valentine is... Do you have an AM? <laughs> I, do you want me to take off my coat? Yes, please. Sake? You know what, this, Mr. Black? This is harassment uh, at this point. It really no, is. You, you it really is. Yeah. No, ac actually, you, you, you fill in the vest and the trousers quite well. Oh, my Thank lord. You. Do you... Ew, you must go hunting, then no wonder. Mr. Black, thank Maybe. you very much for the drinks. I will bid you all a good night. <laughs> good night, Mr. Anderson. Do come back. Uh, I'd Please like to be do safe. Some of these days. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll come back. I'll come back eventually. <laughs> Uh, I'm also, please. That sounds like a lie, but that's alright, laugh. <laughs> no, he's never, never gonna come back. back. He's gonna see me yeah, and think, oh my god, I better kill this that. bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> he already mm -hmm. said that Valentine is a shithole and he would never come back here, so. Uh. No, I think my exact words about Valentine were what's the point in going to the theater or the cinema paying for tickets and uh, when you could just come into the saloon here and watch the absolute shit show that is Valentine? Exactly. I hear the Scottish in you now. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> And also, sir, you're absolutely right, and that's the beauty of Valentine and this, uh, you know, this saloon. Go Cougars! Go Cougars! <laughs> oh, cougars. oh, I hate it when people say that they're too good for Valentine, because this place is just right. Mm. Oh, quite... yeah, every other oh, place yeah. is fucking boring. I quite, I, 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 quite, I quite enjoy it, actually. I find it quite entertaining. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like that one glass of water, which ain't dirty, but nice and cool, and it just refreshes you on a summer's day. Mm. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is... It's like you can have a friend who has a nice dog, and they're you that's probably the only dog you really like, but you don't have to take care of it, so <laughs> you don't have to worry oh, about yeah. all the other things. So it's <laughs> like everyone else has to uncle. live here and mm -hmm. deal with mm -hmm. it, but I get to go home later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can respect that when you when you view it in that light. Yeah, Valentine is a mm -hmm. good place to spend some time. Mm hmm. Oh, unfortunately. I needed a break from the city, so I came down here. Actually, hold on. Oh, are you... never mind. Back to a six. What are you doing with binoculars? <laughs> you know I'm examining Mr. Uh, Hazard. <laughs> you know what she's doing, lad. <laughs> Don't deny it at this point. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna go make some uh, more. Uh, I'm gonna go make some money so I can buy more alcohol to be able to spend more time in Valentine. Hell yeah! <laughs> you well, folks have a good night. That's fair. Bye, Bye, Mr. Henderson. Please be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Valentine, man. Honestly. <laughs> oh jeez. All right, let's get back to the mining part. <sighs> oh shit, it's not wrong. All right, where are we going? So we're gonna go to here. So according to the map, the best way is to go down Main Street, right that way. Oh shit, before we forget, we should go to the telegram office. This has been fun, actually. This, is, this has been quite fun, actually, getting some time away to play as, play as Thomas. I didn't, I, yeah, this is, I, I didn't think I'd quite enjoy this as much. I was always scared about bringing out Thomas my own, but... Let's go. Yoink. <laughs> oh. Hello. Pick up a note. Oh, I can't. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. 
Uh, right, let's have a look at the post office. And uh, so we want to just go ahead and contact, add contact. Josie Edwards, and she is 08431. Ranger. I wish I could amend the notes without deleting the um, the entry, but hey ho, it is what it is. Alright, let's bippity boppity get the fuck out of Valentine's property, folks. Want to break me? I want to break me. I want to break me. Uh... Hmm. Slightly wary about doing this journey in the dark. But hey ho. Yaddy as waddy yaddy as. This is quite quaint. Ooh, nice little house. Is that a fucking gun shot? That sounds like a fucking gun shot. Yeah, let's uh let's dodge the fuck out of that. Oh, oh shit. A lot of riders. Oh, that was a lady who was in the saloon. Or who it is. Everyone follow me. Cool. All right. Let's go make some money, folks. Let's go make some fucking money. Um, where am I going from here? Ah, there's a river crossing right here. Uh, hey. Okay. Take the river crossing. Is that wolves? I don't know if wolves are horses. Jumba, 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 da. Okay, we don't want to overwork her horse here. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. I think we're going this way then. Uh, so we'll go back through Strawberry then, and um, yeah, we'll take it from, uh, take it from there. Uh, strawberry this way, question mark? No, 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 it is not. No, 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 it is not. Not. Oh shit, that's it. We did jump over that tree. So. Am I even going the right way? Oh yeah, I am. Cool. Alright, um, okay. So yeah. Up the strawberry, and then we go to the mines. Oop. You doing okay there? 
Yossi? Yeah, how'd it go? Yeah, went fine. Good. Um, I did, however, get trapped in Valentine shenanigans. I decided That's... to stop. Oh. What happens? You get a Valentine <laughs> and you enter a black hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went into the saloon and there were two people there doing a uh, roast. And uh, they were trying to work out how attractive Ooh, I was. That sounds I, good. I, uh, I, I, been, oh no, not a roast as in like a roast as in a Sunday dinner. A roast as in that thing you do where you insult people. Oh. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> be careful. I love you both. I love more. Wow. So yeah. So yeah, then they uh, they took out binoculars and started trying to assess how attractive I was. I went from a four to a ten to a six. Well, I swear shit. to God. I mean, you are an attractive man, but people shouldn't be ogling you like that. <laughs> Speaking of which, sir. Right, Joey. Put your, put your, put your binoculars. <laughs> I'm trying to give him an honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh the, god! Okay. I mean, he's, he's the beard's a little unkept, but it just <laughs> it's, it adds it adds, you know. Right, right. Let's get this angle too. <laughs> oh my god! Do you have a scar on your cheek? <laughs> yeah, probably a small one. Yeah, yeah. That that adds looking more and more manly. <laughs> oh my word! I'm so sorry, Thomas. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, uh, I'd say you're you're solid seven point three. Well, that was better than the six they left me with in Valentine's. So I'll take it. I mean, I'm not attracted to men, so I I don't even know what I'd score you. This is not my expertise. <laughs> oh dear. Joey, have you met Thomas? E Briefly before we went out, um, yeah, okay. I was mining. Uh, I've not been. been um, yeah, he had the... to go. Oh, talk you have. To the... He had to go talk to the deputies about uh, the people who robbed him. Oh, uh, okay. And then I got caught up in that shit show in the saloon, and here I am. Mm -hmm. here I gotcha. Am. Well, good luck mining. Mm -hmm. If you plan on going. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll be going. All right. I'm gotta... getting ready to go to bed. Uh, but still, if you need anything, please just uh, find a ranger and they'll take care of you. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting course. you both. And uh, yeah, yeah, take care. Okay. All right. We'll see you soon, Nathan. I mean, uh, Thomas. Sorry. We have, <laughs> That's all right. We have, a, we have a ranger. His name is Nathan Thomas. So uh, <laughs> um, I just, I was like, Nathan, no, not Nathan. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Good night, folks. Bye. All right. Let's uh, let's fox draw Oscar. So all of the medics have gone. Thing is, if we encounter any angry ass wildlife at us, we are uh, we're gonna fuck. Because I've basically got, like, the tiniest fucking rifle. Which is just... shit. Ooh, it's starting to get more about it. Okay. Having a little bit of a difficulty following the path when there's no light. So, take a right at the first signpost. When you have the, when you're faced with the big rock wall, which is here, we hook a right. Cool. Right, let's go see what mining's about. Mining's something I've never actually done in this. So. so yeah, we'll see how um see how it all works. Oh hang on. Where am I going? Am I going the right way? No I'm not. I've missed the turn. Okay. 
a little turn off back here. And then from here, we go around the rock. And then go... To the north. To the north until we encounter the trail. Oh, that was close. It's definite wolf power. Okay, so she says to... Cool. Take our horse up here then. Cool. Right. Fine. Let's go and see. Let's go see what mining's all about. Double check. I'm not being followed. No, okay. Hell good. Yeah, we should really invest. We're going to need to invest in the lantern. I don't know if there's any lantern light inside. No, there isn't really. To invest in a lantern for sure. How do we get in here? Do we just cart in this? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's see. Cool. So, this is the mine. Uh. What did I do with the pick? Can I put that place in? Um, okay. So where's the part I need to start mining? Well, presumably there's going to be something along the wall. Where I can mine? This is awful. I don't, I don't know how the mechanic's supposed to work. So I can't equip the pickaxe, so it's not the case of that. Oh, okay. I, I just need to be stationary. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Let's see. Start mining then. Start mining. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I thought this was like going to be like a skill check kind of thing. But no. What do you mean? I don't know what this all gives us. I get coal. Ooh, quite heavy is coal. Yeah. Gee. So we need 20 to do a uh, a run. Fair enough. Very, very, fair enough. Ah, yes, all the nice creaky floorboards. <laughs> Good stuff, okay. So it's quite slow going, is this? I don't know if there's like... We're gonna come at the animation. We're gonna get... Is it always just one coal? Hmm. It's kind of a shame that there's no skill check, because that does make it quite tedious. Yeah, I can only cancel. There's no, there's no, no skill checks involved. It's just slamming some wood with some, um, with some, uh, some pickaxe and going from there. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right. So, 
while we're doing this, folks, uh, I think I might end up going for a bit of a pit stop because I've been streaming now for four and a half hours. I can't even fucking back to myself. Uh, I might go up, make myself a drink because I'm out there. I'm out of drink, so um, yeah. I wonder what the prevalence is of um of getting like gems and things. So we're gonna come out animation and oh, okay, fine, 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 cool. Uh, right, back in a second, folks. Oh fuck, I've been going to the wrong place. Boom, back soon. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> you are a terror! <laughs> you rat of a child! Carthy? Carthy! Who's there? I live. That's me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I was like. Oh. I was ready to go. Fuck, I was drinking. Come on! I'm watching the... This didn't go well, did it? Not a great start. Something's stomping about. Oh, oh we got another big boy. Oh, for fuck's sake, we've just finished with one. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's coming! <laughs> oh, God. I wish I had the superior firepower. Wait, why is there a Mr. Fister as well? <laughs> Wait, a breaker? This is not an ogre. No, it's a smaller one. Please tell me this can't get into the sphincter. It might oh be Lord, it can! Sphincter. It can! Please tell me it can't get into the room! <laughs> Wasn't everyone so sure she's gonna die? Only the fucking get. All they are, are flashlights. No, not flashlights, but <laughs> they're flashlights with uh, legs and arms. A little uh, slip of the tongue there. We're not gonna talk about that. This thing is just, you know, unstable. <laughs> right, hang on. I've got, I've got. So I came up here. I have to try and make my way over here. But, uh! <laughs> I think what it wants us to do is ramp over here and ramp over here, but I'm comfortable if I Skyrim. That I can do it in a one hour. Fucking Liam, boy! Fuck you, you dodgy pillar. I didn't even need you or your family. Get shit, right? Woo! Well, let, let me ride you back to uh, Blackwater. Sure. Things you can say in 1900, but not 2022. <laughs> See? Me exposing my fleshy member helped. Oh, you stop saying oh, fleshy member. <laughs> Why? Say the word exterminate. Oh, and come now, on. Oh, come on. Fuck. Go underneath me. <laughs> oh, get fucked. <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of like the flat cap. Oh, what a fucking surprise. The fucking northerner likes a fucking flat cap. <laughs> Let's get them both here, boy! <laughs> Fucking get shit wrecked. <laughs> Honestly, somewhere there is a fucking Bioware developer who's like, just got like, oh, oh it's stuck to me! It's stuck to me! <laughs> I'm, I'm having too much fun, like, 
Jeffrey is single-handedly bankrupting his state for this. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's not embezzlement if it's for the FTMD, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a big ass fucking fish! Oh, it's one of those other big things that's got the fucking mouth that looks like it would give a glass blowjob. <laughs> what the fuck? The fucking artifact is like fucking. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. They sell slaves here, Miranda. They sell slaves. Hey, folks, welcome back to Mining Simulator. So, so far we've got. Eight coal. Eight coal on a ruby, actually. I think we'll probably end up getting to 20. Like, I don't I don't just want to sit here and mine on stream. Um, I think we'll probably s like get to our 20 that we need. And then we'll probably fuck off uh, and get that sold. Get a lantern, get a gem pouch, and shit, shit done. Where to get there? Another coal. So I think we need a stack of 20, is that right? So yeah, there's a, there's a pretty cool little mini game for the uh, the gold panning. Kind of a shame that there isn't one for uh, from. Jeez, hmm. pretty fucking cool. Uh, why have I got so many sticks? Uh, let's get rid of any of these things. Okay, let's get rid of the sticks and the campfire as well. We're gonna. Oh, it's daylight outside. That's always helpful. Um, yeah. Okay. This is Josie's suggestion to go and hide this ship here. Good suggestion, she's a smart woman. Oh, come on, Thomas, over my heart fucking run, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I should have lost it, actually. Burn, baby, burn. This gonna burn out. Cool. Um, yeah, fine, right. Uh, oh, shit, we got the five oranges? Oh, I'm bitching. So we've got a raw diamond and a raw ruby. Which is pretty cool stuff. Cool, right, let's go back and finish off our mining. And then we can get our shit sold. Which will be good. Get a little bit of money coming. Replace. Re replace the shit that got, uh. That got absolutely capped off. So we're gonna come through here. So can I do it anywhere? Or does it have to be that one wall? Oh no, no, I can do it anywhere. Cool, 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 cool. Right, fine. So yeah, I do need to invest in a lantern. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Wow, this song is really old. My 10 year old child. Yeah, I think it's from 19 something something. Go to bed. The joys of getting old. <laughs> uh, I wonder who is all streaming today. So we've got Gregory Peppel, who will be on El Coyote for sure. Uh, what's Ice Cream what's doing? So. 
Uh, Iceman and... Oh, Iceman Deputy Kennedy! Huh. Okay. Yeah, alright. Yeah, alright. Okay. Ha! <laughs> I didn't realize that. Don't ask anything about my coffee cup, by the way, because I'm not going to give you any fucking answers. <laughs> oh, jeez. I swear, sometimes the bar shoots up a lot faster than, um... Uh, I'm sure the bar shoots up faster sometimes other, uh, I, other than others. Than other... Ah, fuck, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Alright, oh, you know, what did we get anything there? No, just more coal. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Eight to go, eight coal to go. Gotta love the audacity, we have to go to London and sing. And it's wicked. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? More coal. That's fine. Coal or gems. We'll take coal or gems. So we've got a uh, got a ruby and a diamond so far, which is pretty cool. Watching that bar get all the way to the top. <laughs> and the worst part is because I don't have a lantern. This is like super dark for you guys. So we'll get a lantern. We will get a lantern, I promise. But we're only we only need to get six more. Six more. Six more. Six more. Just like a couple more minutes and we'll be good. Lump of coal, lump of coal, lump of coal, coal, coal. Well, whatever that noise is outside doesn't sound great. <laughs> what do we get this time? Go oh, again. Five to go. Yeah, at least with the uh, the gold panning. The gold panning is a fun little mini game that you can do. Basically, the, the way gold panning works is it's like, you know, you, you've got to sugar the pan in the right directions. Uh, and um, yeah, you got to shoot the pans in the right direction, uh, and you basically got to fill the meter before the timer runs out. Basically, all there is to it. But yeah, this is just kind of like waiting. Bastard! I missed my fucking face with my fucking drink. Fuck that pot. <laughs> ah shit! I totally forgot I had food as well. Fuck. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't even see what I got that. Dun, 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 dun,
So what did we get before that? Yeah, okay, so we're, we've only got three to go. Three to go and then we can leave. Fine. Alright, two to go. Yeah, I've got my my pockets are quite full. Uh, how much is this for? I wonder, is it like half a kilogram each? Let's, let's try and work that out. So, uh, 30.92. Alright, if we get coal, if we get just coal, that's us. We're done. We're done. We can get out of the mine. Out of the fucking mind. Go! We have our 20. Woot woot! Let's go. What's the biggity bounce? Oh, come on, Thomas. Come on. Not exactly that fucking hard. Hmm, well, that was a bit shit. Hey, what rifle is it that I have? No, it's a carbine repeater, okay. I thought it might be like a varmint or something, but no. Bit, bit better than that. We're all right. Oh, I don't really need the box, to be honest. Do we? Cool, so we'll pass through Strawberry and we'll go to Annensburg. We've never been to before. Horses run, horses run. <laughs> right, so let's go via. Left here. You can't play the all that is.
Run then. Just rangers. Doing ranger stuff. Uh, looks like more medics around. Oh, and off we go. Rangers to me. Howdy. Hello again. Howdy again. You folks out on patrol? Uh, we're gonna go grab somebody, hopefully. Oh, well. Hmm. I'm on the way to Annisburg, so I'll leave you to it. This is a rig station, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, right, well, if I can come, yeah, then just get over there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine! See about finally getting some money back in the fucking coffers. The best way to get to Annisburg is probably up past Emerald Ranch, I think. I'm just kind of winging this. Is this, is this a whole delivery? That's the one. Okay, let's just set off then. Cinematic. Let's go. Ah, oh dear.
The one downside to the cinematic cam is you can't actually see who's around you and all that noise, but hey. <clears throat> Had a hot chocolate and I've added like a slice of uh, orange chocolate into the, the thing to melt in with it and it's um yeah not quite given the flavor boost I thought it was going to not bad, but hey ho. So yeah, I was right, this is Emerald Station, and Thomas doesn't know this because he's never met the woman, but he's about to, uh, he's about to pass, uh, pass little Astrid's house. <laughs> so yeah, that's all fun and good. It's just the other side of this ranch, really. Okay, I'm gonna come off of for a sec. So that's Astrid's house up there. So I kind of want to like explore the paths here because I don't I really don't know this area of um of New Hanover very well. So I kind of want to because if I'm gonna if I'm if, if if me as Thomas is gonna do this this coal run uh quite a few times, kinda gonna need to learn it. You basically go past Astrid's house, crest the hill, follow it all the way down, and then uh, right, and then on the left. So take us the old fort way. Or at least I thought it would. I oh, know it does, I am in the right place. I'm in the right place. Do I follow this all the way around? Oh no, I don't, I don't. So I take a left at the fort, and then it's just Van Horn and Annisburg. Right, so we keep on this side of the train tracks until we get to the path, which is, there's a path. 
Okay, apparently we've missed it. Apparently it's up here. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, good fine. Cool. Okay, fine. Which go? And then it's straight until you see the town. And then... Yeah. Here is it like through this path? Yeah. Then we follow this path around. Follow this path around and take the first left when we can. Is here? Question mark. Cool. I'm gonna have to learn all these fucking landmarks. I'm being chased by someone. Like, oh, hang on. Have I gone completely the wrong way? Oh, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before that, I had a screen turn up a ways. I have to learn all the landmarks in reverse as well, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's just a straight ride to Annisburg from here. We need to work out where the cool deliveries are. Oh, well, that's nice and straightforward, I think. There's a man's right here. Uh, so let's say to you to follow. And we're going to speak to you. Hey, got a little job for you. A good little job for ya. Okay, yeah, I'll walk home. Okay. Oh, yeah, hang on. We need to bolt, we need to bolt, we need to, we need a biggity bounce. Because that guy's going to be angry. We just knocked him over with a fucking car. Uh, right, okay. Let's, um, let's pick up the pace a little bit, because we do only have 15 minutes. Wow, is this as fast as this cart goes? Okay, I think, I think this is as fast as the cart goes.
This is where like a cougar comes out of nowhere. I wonder if when you're in like autopilot like this, when you're just letting the fucking carriage drive for itself, if you were to get attacked, if the like AI takes over and starts like fucking trying to shoot the stuff, or if it just runs. But what do the base characters do for that matter? Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. So I'm Sure. I'm not sure I trust how fast this can be done. Because you only get 15 minutes and it's not the shortest ride. I'll test it and see. I was about to say I can hear another horse, but of course I can hear another fucking horse. My horse is fucking following us, isn't it? Right, while this is going on, I'm gonna go and get a drink. Right, I'm back. Ah. Like, where even are we at this point? <laughs> like, because of the fog, I've got no idea where we are. I think we just passed Emerald Ranch. I think there's like a farm on the outskirt of Emerald Ranch. So, like, it can't be that long until we're there. Yeah, I don't think it can be that long until we're there. Do 
But yeah, we're definitely in Heartlands. I can see that we're definitely in Heartlands. Oh! Oh, that was cold. I just got cold shiver through me. Fucking hell. But because this is really bad fog, I can't quite see in heart. Oh no, we're, we're just coming up on the off We're just coming up on the off uh, So I think we want to go... Yeah, we want to turn here. Not sure why that turn us. No, we're going to have to go through and then turn. Oh, I can see the red marker. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be the cool delivery done. Marker a minute ago. Now I can't see Jack shit. Yeah. Where specifically is it we go? Oh, Alright, okay, we're well on the other side. Hang on. Well, we're on the other side. Heartland's oil fields, huh? Money made. Hundred dollars. There we go. Good work, Willow. Good work. Drink. So, yeah. Let's go to the Valentine and spend our ill-gotten gains. ones are actually not ill-gotten they're uh, they're they're perfectly reasonably gotten actually Thomas is first real dollar how much nom do we get for eating oranges oh god oranges yeah, oranges are pretty good actually huh. um yeah okay cool um That gunshot echoing off the distances. Jesus Christ. That's a pretty horrific sound, actually. Fuck now. Cool. Right, so what we want with our money is a lantern. We want to save $12 for a gem pouch as well. And then we kind of need to start saving money, I think. I do think I want a pistol though. Uh, let's just go over here. Hey, Valentine looks remarkably quiet. There's a gun shop. Let's see what we can get. So, uh, oh, I think it was a double action that we had. Yeah, it was definitely a double action. I remember now. I do remember now. Right, let's see if we can get a dub another double action. So it's $60. I need 12 for the gem pouch. And however much the lantern is. So I think... Why is everyone up in that... Why is everyone up in that balcony? Hmm. 
Cool. So I think it's 12 that I need. 12 is the order. So... Yo, bye. Uh, so let's go for... Uh, so yeah, gem cutter's $200, so that's quite expensive. It's a lantern, there we go. That's one lantern. Lantern's only $5? Oh, that's fine. That is fine. Perfect. Get it off the gone. Damn's baked beans. I'll go watch it, quite expensive. <laughs> cool. I think, like, if we put this there, can we, like, yeah, so as long as it's quick there, it's on. Let's just keep it off just now. So, yeah, that does give us enough money to, um, that does give us enough money to replace our double action. Um, which is what we had before. Uh, okay. So let's just get uh let's just get the double action for just now. So we can afford that, that's fine. I wonder what the customization options are. Double action. Customize slash repair. Etch. Oh, that's expensive. Jesus. Components. Ooh. Ironwood, ebony, a pearl grip. Ooh. Add on her. Okay. Go back. What barrel can we get? We can get that. We can get a long barrel. Okay. Sights. Narrow sights or white sights? Huh. Okay. Styles. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can change the metal. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. There's a lot to change. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go through that. Um, yeah, you can change quite a lot. A lot in the carbine repeater. You can... Components. You got the grip. You can get an engraved grip. Or an ironwood grip. Hmm. Uh, there's the sight. There's a tube. Which has got nothing. And a wrap. Could be a stock wrap. Ooh, or a twine wrap. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, interesting. Right, so we've got our pistol back. That much is good. So let's just go ahead and slap that in there, and then we can load. So, reload weapon. Okay. We got a pistol back. Hmm. Cool. Happy fucking days. All right. Now it's the case game back to Strawberry. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Willow is absolutely the paper horse. Wait, where am I going? Why am I going up this way? This way doesn't take me where I want to go. Um, do we need to turn around? Right, let's get back to Strawberry, get a gem pouch, and then we'll take it from there, really. I don't, I don't know why there's so many people up in that back balcony. Right to crowd. Quite the crowd indeed. This isn't 
way I wanted to go either, is it? Oh no, it's yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we're gonna go to the this place, right? Great depot. So let us make it bound. Grab some food as well. I don't have a bow and an arrow. I wonder if I can like pample a deer or something. <laughs> Is this not the bridge where you fight the Adriscolls in the base game? Or like at least one of the times you fight the Adriscolls? Shit, oh, we hit something. It's food, isn't it? <laughs> What do we hit? Just rock. Yeah, I did not see what we hit. We definitely hit something. But I don't know what it is. We're going over this side of the path. Nah. Can't see anything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, are we still following this path? That you are? Oh no. Apparently. Apparently there is something there. Who would have got to? That's a question. Just get off the horse a second. So it's a small game. We know that much. Apparently it's on this side of the path. Let's just walk and try and find it. Oh, wait, here it is. It's a burb! <laughs> we found a burb. I've got no idea what we can do with a fucking burb. <laughs> something it might be a bunny or something that we could fucking get some food from, but yeah. I don't know, so... The original plan for Thomas was to be my main criminal character. But obviously Astrid's going through a little bit of a change. And the thing is, like, the, the problem with Thomas is that Thomas would be your stereotypical, boring, rough and tumble kind of criminal. Um, not massively sophisticated, just like, likes a good laugh, likes a good challenge, likes a good fucking fist fight. Um, that kind of thing. Whereas I think Astrid as like, perhaps not necessarily explicitly a criminal, but as like really suspicious undertones. Um, I think Astrid's problem is that she, well, it's not really a problem such, I quite like it frankly, but I think Astrid's deal is just simply that she's, um, she's kind of terrifying. Like there is, there is something inherently terrifying about like a sweet little voice just telling you you're gonna die, you know? Like she did to Dovey, where it was like, you know. Um, there we go, there's bunnies. I wonder if it's gonna absolutely flatline one. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the answer to that is yes! Ha! Got one. This is the kind of hunting I like. <laughs> bunny, bunny, bunny. Is it dead? Yeah, it did. Um, pick up a jackrabbit. So I think it needs to be not skin in order to. Am I not still on this? Or is it because there's a box on the back? Yeah. I wonder if it might just be because there's a box on the back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a bit grim. So we get fur. But no meat, really? Jesus. Nah, okay, All right, fine. I think, yeah, I think this box is more of a hindrance or not. Moogie! Hey, Moogie! Moogie, look, look! Moogie, I'm not playing, uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing Astrid. <gasps> How are you doing? <laughs> How was your, uh, how's your shoot? You're looking, yeah. Yeah, look, it's not Astrid. It's not Astrid. <laughs> you wimp. 
Listen. Listen. Astrid is currently in a hospital bed trying not to fucking die right now. That's that's why we're not on Astrid because it's not <coughs> I obviously wasn't going to stream six hours of being like flat on a hospital bed. Um so uh so yeah, we, we broke out Thomas. And uh, Thomas has had quite a good time actually. He's met um he he's met some of the he's met some of the medics, he's met some of the rangers, he's uh he's gotten into mining, and he's this he he's intrigued by the wonderful world of uh, of gems that we've got going on. So so yeah. So yeah, how is uh, how was your night as Cece? I did actually bump into Cece um in Valentine. Uh, I was just kind of like, um, I just heard the name and I was like, oh, 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 but I was in the middle of like a conversation. So like I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, interact or anything. Not that I'd have much reason to other than just like general introductions, but I think you were just on the way outside or something. So like, yeah, that was basically it. But yeah, I hope you've had a good night. Thank you very much for stopping in. I think you said you're on your way to the seat. So, well, CC is classic CC. Uh oh. Uh oh, has she <laughs> has she killed any more of Finn's horses? <laughs> so I can sell that for one dollar. Fucking hell! Oh well. Um, I wonder if we might just grab some food here. Five dollars? Yeah, we can get that. No, she feels so bad about it too. That was so fucking funny. Honestly, that was hilarious. Well, in uh, in Astrid news, uh, Astrid went to go and see a friend, and uh, she's like a mini Millie, but kinder. <laughs> well, Millie was always kind to um, to Astrid, but yeah. Um, so, oh no, hang on, no, I, I forgot how this works. Um, yeah, so um, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, let's go over to that thing here so um yeah uh, astrid went to go see a friend and had an unfortunate encounter with some wolves uh and they took out astrid's neck so uh astrid is currently having a bad time in a hospital bed she will be back tomorrow albeit week but um yeah <laughs> it's been a bit of an interesting day let's uh let's go ahead and slam some stuff in here sorry what Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Say that again. What? Say what again? You're making me nervous now. Uh, I'll, I'll send... Hang on. Oh, fuck. Who did I send this to? Uh, you're so sleepy, I zoned out. Yeah, so basically, Astrid went to go see a friend in the wilderness. And... Uh, what I have just the end you ended up happening of Astrid got flatlined by a whole bunch of wolves and as a result of that she is uh <laughs> yeah she is currently resting up in uh in bed so I decided to break out um I decided to break out uh Thomas for a little while yeah bad times indeed uh I I, I I thought that the person wasn't going to be around. To, to be honest, I, I honestly wouldn't have been spending all that much time uh, on Astrid anyway. I don't think. Can you just put anything in here? No. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I wouldn't have been spending that much time um, on Astrid anyway, um, purely because in her current situation, um, I'm kind of in the unfortunate position of because she is so like isolated and outcast and don't get me wrong This is great for story. It's absolutely fantastic for the storyline um, But because she's so outcasted um, It kind of means there is certain individuals I need to be awake For role play to be able to happen and if they're not it's literally just gonna be me standing around and it kind of doesn't make sense for Astrid in the current climate to um, it doesn't make sense for Astrid in the current climate to be um, going up to people randomly and introducing herself. Go make new friends. No, so she has been, but the problem is like, so she's met like a whole bunch of new people, but she hasn't been, uh, she hasn't been telling them her name. I was thinking about coming up with a fake name for, um, for Astrid. 
But uh, instead, I decided to hop over to, to, to Thomas. Uh, there are lots of people that don't know her. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, Moogie, because that newspaper, I mean, like, literally, yeah, yesterday, when I was playing Astrid in the Crossing, literally, I wasn't exaggerating when I say that three groups of people came up to Astrid and were like, you're that doctor from the newspaper. You're that doctor from the newspaper. <laughs> Thanks for that Nightbot, very inappropriate quote, but I respect it. Um... So yeah, so like, it doesn't matter that like, a lot of people don't know Astrid. There's too many people that know of what Astrid's done for it to make sense that she would kind of be hidden away at the moment. Um, she, um, White Wiper in the highest regard. <laughs> How did you know you had a Moogie exclamation mark? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um so yeah um yeah I, I, I there is a story that will play out with astrid and she will eventually start getting back out there but at the moment she thinks that everybody's out to get her um she knows because she told her oh yeah moogie i don't think you actually know this to be honest it's your wet wiper powers um one of the senior doctors of the medical department um actually messaged the support bot for um to ask for corruption rp permission to uh kill astrid he, he it got knocked back so you know he let me know but like um uh yeah like that that's that's oh shit, that's a bear that's a motherfucking bear do you wanna do you wanna not go towards a bear Fucking horse. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Th th he asked for permission to, to be able to kill Astrid, um, which is just absolutely outstanding. So the doctors want to kill Astrid. The crossing wants to kill Astrid. Um, uh, that's a compliment and a half. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's, it, it's so much fun right now. Honestly, it is so much fun. It, it does kind of mean that I have to play the story in a certain way. Uh, and also, um, and I think, I, I, so I don't know this. I don't know this, but I have a sneaking suspicion that CC has something to do with this. So I think this isn't meta. I think it's not meta. Um, but basically, um, uh, yeah, um, Astrid got told yesterday um, that the Kettleman gang think that uh, it was Astrid that sold them out. So um, Astrid is currently thinking everybody is out to get her and at the moment quite, you know, th th there is evidence for this. So uh, yeah, she's basically playing a, she trusts nobody um, except people who will kind of stand up for her. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. I just, I have a sneaking suspicion. I have a sneaking suspicion that, uh... Well, some, some, somebody's told the Kettleman gang that, uh... Astrid ratted, ratted them out. Which isn't proof, by the way. Uh, full, full open meta. She didn't. Um, but Astrid's about the only person who knows who did. So, uh, yeah. Well, actually, there's quite a few people that know who did. Who really did. To be honest, I smell BS. <laughs> do you do you know do you, do you actually you don't have to say if you don't want to, but like do you actually know who ratted out the Kettleman gang? Ashford got asked to and refused. Um, but do you actually know? No, you have no idea. Ah, okay, I won't say then. I won't say, but yeah. Uh, so, um. Astrid is the only one who the Kettlemans have access to that ratted out, um, who, who knows who ratted out the Kettlemans, tr tr who truly knows what happened to, um, what happened to the Kettlemans in Guarma. And I think, I think it's going to make for such a scandalous story when, when it comes out. Um, so yeah. It's all very exciting, but at the moment, Astrid is terrified. Um, because unfortunately, the one person of the Kettlemans who she's been dealing with 
is the one fucking person who, like, Astrid feels Jack Kettleman has absolutely no control whatsoever over. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yesterday's encounter was, was pretty fun. But, like, this is such an exciting story. And the fact that, like, there's all these rumors going around the place. My guy, Jack Kettleman. Yeah, so the funny thing is, the really funny thing is, is if, if, if I'm reading the situation right, I think Cece and Astrid are actually full meta on the same side. But in character, they don't know that. They both hate, well, I think I think Cece still hates Astrid. Uh, Astrid is, so Astrid even said to Dovey uh, in the Guarma encounter that like, despite everything going on, she thinks that Cecily is the biggest threat to Astrid's life right now. So yeah. That's kind of that, that, that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I think I think I think there's I think I think there's still like I, I know a lot of people are saying oh well that that's a Guarma arc over for the CC is too busy falling off shit to worry about Astrid. Yeah, well, Astrid hasn't uh, Astrid hasn't forgotten about Cecily. Because all those times Cecily pulled out the knife in front of Astrid and was reaching for a gun that wasn't there. That didn't go unnoticed. That didn't go unnoticed. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, what fun. But yeah. Did you fall off anything else today, Cecily? Miggy? Did you fall off any other cliffs and kill any other people's horses? <laughs> But no, I'm, um, yeah, I, I'm really, I'm, uh, your Guarma story is still going. Cece's on to the next chapter. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it is because I mean, I mean, well, I mean, have you, uh, did you, did you read the newspaper today, Mookie? Did you read the article about Astrid? Because I, I know that I told you earlier on to, to, to have a read of it. Did you actually read it? Because it's a fucking better hang on. Oh, no, I, 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 no, no, I think I do have a. Let me read it to you. I, I know, obviously, that Cecily won't know in character, but, like, you should see it because it's a fucking belter. It's an absolute belter. Wait till we're done with this, and then we'll, uh... We'll have a look at it. So, yeah. Another lump of coal there. Right, let's read the newspaper. Honestly, it's fucking hilarious. Here we go. Stitches of Betrayal in Guarma. Prescription for Betrayal. Well-known doctor Astrid Alex's daughter turned coat on the Department of Health and the good people of the crossing in Guarma this week. The once respected doctor sullied her reputation after coercing a fellow medic to travel to Guarma, where she was handed over to Kettleman. Thankfully, the medic was freed from the clutches of the cult of Kettleman and returned safely to the mainland in the end. The devious doctor is still at large. <laughs> How much of a fucking belter of a telegram a newspaper article is that amazing yeah so astrid um astrid showed her um so astrid went through a personality change in guarma uh because of something two characters said to her well freaking done yep that's how beautiful this is uh so astrid sent a telegram to the newspaper uh let me let me find it's in the screenshot archive somewhere. Uh, yeah, here we go. Dear The Saints Daily, I was most disheartened to see your article about me in the paper. I'd be most interested in find finding out about the, the source of that information. I would have asked you to take the article down, but the conversations I've had thus far have proven the article has already done its damage. I would, however, like to point out that your monster of a doctor is not in fact wanted and never has been. Therefore, I am not currently at large, as you say. The good people of the crossing don't need anything more to fear now, do they? So yeah, that was, uh, that's Astrid kind of losing her cool a little bit with the paper. So yeah, so yeah, my 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 character is literally the fucking villain of the crossing right now. Oh, uh, it's all so fucking it's all so funny. I love it. Um but yeah. 
<laughs> Did we get any gem gems? No, more coal. How are we doing for coal? On six. Hmm. Hmm. So we're trying to get some some money up. Uh, anyway, bad for me. No problem, Muggy. Catch you later. Good nighty. Boy. Or as you would say, love you, Michi boy. <laughs> ah, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> Good night, Muggy. I'll catch you later. Ooh, what do we get here? Another dump of coal. Seems we got quite lucky in our initial fucking. Um, uh, it seems we got quite lucky in our initial um, uh, couple of runs for doing coal mining, and that we got two gems. But yeah, I think if we can get a gem cutter, we can probably sell them for quite a lot. So I'm quite tempted to just kind of like linger. I'm like, yeah. Get enough things for this. Who else is streaming at the moment? Because I'm, a, I'm actually kind of starting to flag a little bit. Uh, let's have a look. We've got more coal. Let's just keep going with the coals. Go, 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 baby, go. Uh, what we might do is we might just continue this. Because, I mean, like, you know, we're not exactly conversing with anyone. Uh, right, so PB and LJ, Scarlet Rose isn't playing. It's probably going to be Ember Nocte, isn't it? Oh, uh, mm, okay, I'd say they're going to be Ember Nocte or like Zeisman. Iceman or whatever his name is. Uh, how's Iceman doing? He's done alright. Let's go, let's go for Ember Go we'll have a little raid. Ember not D. Uh, what did I get from that? Ah, uh, more. Cool. Right, so we're just gonna keep going with this. Um, we're probably gonna be back tomorrow for some more roleplay action. Um, but yeah, I think we're pretty much gonna raid out. We're basically just gonna do some mining, uh, and then Thomas's next set of shenanigans is gonna be for another day, I think. Yeah, so we'll continue this off stream. Let's go for a raid on Ember Nocti, who is currently Deputy Saffron uh, Mitchell. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for some more roleplay action. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure what time the stream will get started. Depends on how quickly I get the shit I need to do done first. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for just now, I will say thank you very much to Octi for the raid. Um... Oh, hang on a minute. That wasn't today, was it? No, it was yesterday. It was Octi Raid. Uh, it was ID Mac that gave us the raid today. Um, and Daft Medic for the follow. So, yeah, thank you very both very much for that. And I will see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You are a terror. <laughs> Ooh, you rat of a child. Darcy? Darcy! Ah! Ah! What was that? I live. That's me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I was like... I was, I was ready to <laughs> 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 Fuck, I was drinking! Come on! I'm watching the... This didn't go well, did it? Not a great start. Something stomping about. Oh, oh we got another big boy. Oh, for fuck's sake, we've just finished with one. Oh, <laughs> Lord, it's coming! <laughs> oh, God. I wish I had the superior firepower. Wait, why is there a Mr. Fister as well? What? <laughs> Wait, a breaker. This is not an ogre. No, it's a smaller one. Please tell me this can't get into the sphincter. It might oh be Lord, it can! <laughs> it can! Please tell me it can't get into the room! <laughs>
Why is everyone so sure she's gonna die? It's only the fucking get. All they are are flashlights. No, not flashlights. But <laughs> they're flashlights with uh, legs and arms. I have a little uh, slip of the tongue there. We're not gonna talk about that. This thing is just, you know, unstable. <laughs> right, hang on. I've got, I've got. So I came up here. I have to try and make my way over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what it wants us to do is ramp over here and ramp over here. But I'm comfortable if I Skyrim. But I can do it in a one hour. Fucking Liam, boy! Fuck you, you dodgy pillar. I didn't even need you or your family. Get shit right. Woo! Well, let, let me ride you back to uh, Blackwater. Sure. Things you can say in 1900, but not 2022. <laughs> See, me exposing my fleshy member helped. Oh, you stop saying fleshy member. Why? Say the word exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> Come on. Just hit him. Um... That was a bit unnecessary, <laughs> but I respect it. Doing, I hacked up a giant ball of mucus, oh, and come, now I can oh, speak clearer. On. Fuck! You're underneath me. <laughs> oh, get fuck! <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of like the flat cap. Oh, what yeah. a fucking surprise! The fucking northerner likes a fucking flat cap. Body slam! <laughs> this will never not be funny. Let's get them both. Let's get them both, you yeah, boy. <laughs> Fucking get shit wrecked. <laughs> Honestly, somewhere there is a fucking Bioware developer who's like, just got like, oh, oh it's stuck to me. It's stuck to me. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm having too much fun. Like, Jeffrey is single handedly bankrupting his state for this. Uh, <laughs> 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 It's not embezzlement if it's for the FTMD, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big ass fucking fish! Oh, it's one of those other big things that's got the fucking mouth that looks like it would give a class flow job. What the fuck? You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. These sell slaves here, Miranda. They sell slaves. Get out. Right, okay, I've got Shavakadu. Because I assume the other medics have filtered my stuff. Ah!